we are live. All right, hi everybody. Welcome to this episode of Omega Dawn. Um, a quick recap from last episode. Uh, we were uh, fighting a whole bunch of um, Sapphire who had invaded the ship that we're travelling on. Um, the Sapphire seemed to be uh, searching for something. Um, yeah, that's a quick quick prep, a quick um, um, summary. Sorry, mental blank for a second. So, uh, welcome to all, uh, and uh, we're due for, because we're in the middle of combat, because you've just opened a, a door on the bottom deck into the emergency engineering plant and been accosted by three of the evil worm-like sapphire uh, armed with laser rifles. Um, one of them had a swing uh, at uh, somebody's head. I can't remember whose head it was. Anyway, um, what I'll do is I'll get everybody to roll me initiative, please. All right, initiative. That's a that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> uh, where is that's it? a good one. It's in. The, it'll be in the combat section, mate. Combat section. Uh, it, okay. Unless he made a hot bar for it. No, no. Yeah, no, it looks. There it is. Looks like it's on your F one. Uh, uh, there we go. Yep. Sweet. Oh, it is. Uh, and for those who, uh, in, in case anyone's wondering, um, Lord Entrails is uh, will be joining us later. In the meantime, Lord Entrails Jr. is playing <laughs> Cerise uh, yep. for the time being. So, uh, so yes. Okay, so you guys have got some initiatives. Let me put some initiatives for the Sapphire. And by my count, that makes Jazz. You have got first shot. Or first action, uh, I should say. Uh, so, I forget where this door was up to. We were in the middle of cycling it, or were we at the end of cycling it? I think we're at you're the end. The, you're at the end. Yeah. The door is open now. Wait, uh, is there anybody in the airlock? No. I assume we would have seen that. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. so you... <laughs> no, they're invisible, uh, cool. dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, invisible snake. I wouldn't put that past you. Uh, yeah, Worm. cool. He's going to run up to that door. <laughs> You're up to that door. Okay, fine. After that, uh, Cerise, you've got an action. Uh, you can see at least one sapphire through the door from where you are. All right, but I'm assuming that this is going to be point blank range? It is point blank range, yes. Okay. Uh, so no modifiers. So it's in a straight, a straight attack roll, if you wish. I'm assuming you're shooting. Yeah, I think what is the... Uh, what fires three round, uh, three times around, so three rolls. Uh, no, just one roll. Uh, laser. What are you using? A laser rifle? Uh, the gyro jet rifle. Uh, and he gets two shots. That doesn't actually have a point blank range, by the way. So you have to it use short either. always. Oh yeah, that's right. It's yeah. So it's minus ten, but we can add that in later. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Like... Normally, uh, if you did, it, uh, uh, normally that would hit. But as I said, there is a short range uh, penalty for the gyro jet rifle, so that actually missed by ten, unfortunately. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm going to turn that off because it's distracting me. Hang on. Sorry. <sighs> there we go. Oh, that's what I think I wanted to do. Uh, that one. So, uh, after that, there is a cat. I'm gonna follow Jazz. Okay. Uh, and the, close the door behind her, of course. Uh huh. Well, the door will close automatically behind her, of course. Yep. That's new. Never had that before. <laughs> Oh, that's um, that's the Sirenscape shipboard sound set. Just for some background, some background ambiance. That is nice. Let's turn it down a bit. 
Yeah, Sirens, I know, I'm not trying to advertise any one particular product, but Sirenscape, I find it really good. Um, uh, we're going to be using more and more of it as I get more and more of the rule set completed. But that's, uh, that, that's a metagame issue. So, uh, that was Cat Babu Babu. 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 You take out the Force Axe. You and your Force Axe. Yeah, Force Axe was already out, I believe, wasn't yep. it? Yep. I, I'm going to put it in his head. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice individual. I'm pretty sure uh, he's the one that hey. swung at you. You like that? I oh, mean, uh, that's yeah. Yeah, that's a creep, mate. What do it's I get auto hit. Uh, sorry, not a, sorry, it's an auto hit, not a creep. It's an auto hit. Ah. Oh. But nice load of damage. In fact, that that takes that sapphire out. So I'm just going to remove Oh, I mean, I can't sheet. hit him again? No, you only <laughs> get one shot with him. You I mean, you, one shot anyway. you stuck it in his skull. <laughs> if they have one. Well, that's a good question. Does Man. it go in their skull? And then, like, you well, deactivate it? How does that work? <laughs> oh, well, it's a... It's a it's an axe blade with a uh, with a, 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 a force field around it, so... Ah, uh, um, but what if you stuck it in someone and then activated it? Yeah, I don't think it quite works that way. <laughs> 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 Alright, so... Um, that was... That, so, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel's a tough one now. What are you going to shoot, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I think I am going to shoot. I just don't want to waste points by ramping up too quickly, and I want to get something in there. Well, you've, you've gone through a few points as well. Don't forget, you're not at full. You're not at full Sonic points to start with. What's that? I said I don't think you're at full Sonic points to start with. I think you've used a few, haven't you? I haven't used any on board ship, and should have had plenty haven't of time you? to recover those. Okay, I must be mistaken. That's right. There was talk of maybe trying to mine contact with the. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Computer, but we didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. That's what I'm. All that's right. That's so, what I'm getting laser confused, pistol though. with this guy here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're shooting at the the, the 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 one on the right, as far as you're looking. At that it? one. No, you that one. Right. Okay. And I got Babu up right now. Hold on. But yeah, that one there, laser mm -hmm. pistol. Uh, any range modification? No. No, it's four meters. For God's sake, that's at, at worst. Ah. And you missed. That's all right. Um, Cerise, do you want your second shot? Um, yeah, I would love to do that. Can I uh, still hit that one? Uh, to the left of Daniel. Yep. All right, then I will go ahead and... That one is going to miss, isn't it? It's going to miss because you've got to you add a, a 10 point penalty to it. So that's, yeah, that's a miss as well. And Daniel, do you want your second shot? Yeah. Same target, I'm assuming? Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> You had your laser pistol set on one, did you? Okay. Yeah, he doesn't like using ammo because it's not really what he does. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so let's see. So does Cerise get a third shot with nope. the rifle? Nope. No? No, there's only two shots that got a jet from memory. Or have I got that wrong as well? Uh, on, this, on the inventory uh, item, it says rate of fire three. Is it? All right, hang on a second. Gyro yeah, take your, third one. take your third one then, yeah, John. Yeah. All right, maybe I'll hit. Uh, yes. Yes, yes okay. Uh, 2d10 for a Garajet shot. Uh, isn't it three? For a rifle? Is it the rifle or oh, the pistol? Oh, rifle. Rifle. It's a rifle. It's going to be three. Three with a rifle. For, uh, that was okay. 14 points. Yep, that's okay. All right. And 
two things to be careful of with the rifle. If you get engaged in melee, you get a hideous penalty mm. uh, to, to hit. Uh, and yeah, I think both the pistol and the rifle have the same range increment on their medium range, so it's six meters. So, three squares. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the sapper firing back at you all miss. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful, you guys. Uh, so I'll get initiatives off everybody again, please, for the next round. Uh, I switched too quickly. The first Babu is actually Daniel. Right. No, it can't be. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. I actually rolled high for Babu. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> So, uh, Therese, you have first go. All right, I will shoot the same one again. Mm hmm. And. Th miss. Nope. No, yeah, miss. I am. The. Cat, you're next. Uh, this will be the second round of cycling. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it will. No, first. Because oh, you only missed David. To... The... You got to move it. Had yeah, to move okay. over the door. Remember, so it's the first yeah. round of cycling. So we we, we um, can't cycle on the round that the other door closes. Nope, that's right. You got to wait for the other door to close first. End of the round, start. Yeah. So yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Um, Babu. Uh, do I? I can step up and attack, right? Yeah. Sure. Swing and a destruction. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. It didn't kill him, but it hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's because I wasn't moving fast. Uh, you, you're a you're a dralocyte. You don't move fast. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, you have lucky sevens, though. Yeah. Jazz? Oh, door. Uh, yeah. Waiting for the door. Has Andy Thank given us up... An update? Yeah. He was giving uh, us updates no. every... Oh, he was, wasn't he? Um, yeah. No, he hasn't given the update. Um, uh, emergency... Sorry. Andy, Andy comes over the PA system. Emergency power plant? <laughs> And uh, lower port airlock. Oh. Lower starboard airlock. That was my thought. Oh. All right. Well, That's where we just came from. No, no. <laughs> or am I looking backwards at that? Because starboard is to the right, so. Yeah, but the front of the ship's the front of the ship's towards the towards the right hand edge. Okay, got it. So port, because of the way the map's orientated. Right, we're on kind of like the front side. Starboard would be to the south and port to the north. Okay, yeah. got it. If you want to think of it that way. Uh, okay, cool. We're not going to wait for this airlock to open. We're going upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, Daniel, you're up. Oh, yeah. Let me shoot. Same target. Uh-huh. Well, it's a hit. Uh, we're improving our damage. We are. Uh, that's a miss. And that's definitely miss. Uh, I'm just moving shot, too fast for them to track me. Hmm. <laughs> Daniel, se Daniel, second shot. Cerise, second shot. Actually, Cerise, you might have to move, mate. Um, I don't think you've got line of sight now that Babu's moved forward. Yeah. Um, 
So that's that, so you can't take your second shot this round. Um, I'll give you a half move. I'll give you a half move. I'll give you a half speed move. So if you move up the door, actually in the door, if you wanted. In the meantime, Daniel, you want to give me a shot if you're going to take your shot. Yeah, that's not going to hit. <laughs> yeah, you're getting excited now. Yeah. How does like uh, firing in a melee work? Uh, yes, you can do it. Um, penalties? There is... Hey? Any well, penalties? Ta the, the, the target you're aiming for has got co has got a cover bonus ah. a penalty, depending on your point of view. And if you you miss your target, you got a pretty good, you got a reasonable chance of hitting the 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 other creature in the in the bamboo. melee. In All this right. case, bamboo, yeah. We and so a bit. let's see, he can move. <laughs> we do it quite a bit. <laughs> yes, they do. This is a whole lot of movement. Um. <laughs> well, it depends where you're moving to. Uh, I'm looking at the movement section of his sheet. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they, um, Vrusk are incredibly quick. Yeah, you, um. they're like centipede-like creatures, right? Well, they're, they're kind of. um, yeah. praying mantis-like. It's closer. Oh, They've got okay. eight legs and two arms, so um, they can. Uh, they're, they're nicknamed bugs, um, but they they've got that they're the fastest. They're the, we're the fastest on foot of out of all the character races. Out of actually everybody, actually, they're faster than Sathar. They're star They're fa faster than the just about everybody. Yeah. So if I can move a, a half speed of a walk, so that's five meters, which is two and a half squares. Yeah. Uh, could I get there then? Oh, easy. All right. Cause I'm having a feeling I want to go uh, smash some skulls. <laughs> uh huh. You got a force axe, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I've heard the stories of it. Or rather, the one story of it. Yeah, Four sec, you the main subject. Last session. Oh, that wasn't very fair what you did to those sapphires. What? Oh, yeah, well. Oh, the, just grab, drop the uh, tranquilizer grenades down and then you just <laughs> smash the last one's skull in. All fair in love and interstellar war. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you don't know what happened to these guys uh, at the hands of the Sathar earlier, uh, after being stranded on an alien planet. Yeah, you guys uh, got blown yeah, up by pirates or ship. I've yeah, we we talk about uh, our games. <laughs> I've I've heard the legends yeah, of this yes. group. Yeah, there's actually uh, uh, your dad's actually done a bit of a um a journal, yeah. A diary journal on the on the fans against forums. It's actually quite a good read, I think. Yeah, very good uh, too. Uh, anyway, um, sorry. User uh, joined you, your channel. Did you hit by the way? Who's that? That is Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, you're in. How are you, mate? Just in time for the door to open. Can't hear you, Thomas. Push to talk. He's lighting up. I ain't hearing him. He's now. lighting up, but nothing's coming out. Yeah. He'll get to us eventually. So you're, you're going to take a swing. You've had your shot this time, haven't you, three So that's we're up for yeah. new... Yep, for new initiatives. We'll just give Thomas a second. Uh, to get, okay. To get... Uh, just give Thomas a second to get in, get online with us. Is a, is a train passing by in the background? No, it's uh, environmental system hums, console beeps, engine hum, droid beeps, and music for enormous spaces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the current mood is called Cruising in Open Space from the Shipboard sound set 
from the uh, sci-fi player of Sirenscape uh, in the background there. Uh, just for fun. That was odd. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Um, so, okay, Thomas is having problems with his mic. He's going to work on that before he joins us. So, uh, initiatives, you've done every initiative. Sorry, could you just keep Thomas back for a second, Cap? While, um, sorry, yeah. can you just take uh, Babu back for a second? There we go. Wait until Thomas gets online. So, uh, initiative for these guys, and that's... <laughs> I don't know why I bothered. Cat, you're up first. No, uh, Cat, no, actually, Jazz is up first. Cool. Uh, so what we heard was they were coming from hydroponics, they went to auxiliary, and now they're in that airlock. Means the way we're going is the wrong way. Uh, uh, we probably want to jump over here and ignore this opening door. Um, what, c cancel the cycle? Is that yeah, well, the, it, the from what Andy said, that they're gone from this, this half of the ship now. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're either Southern, coming yeah. our way up that airlock, uh, or they're going towards the emergency power, or they're going upstairs. And we can't go upstairs from where we are. This isn't an upstairs, it's just a, there's an airlock out to the, out of the ship, or what is, what is That's the right. thing in here? Yeah. Yeah. The airlock, to the, there's an airlock out the ship, and there's no, there's no way to get to the, there's no deck. Um, above you, airlock envelope. Yeah, oh, hell. I'm not saying that right. You can't yeah, no, no, move to the middle deck from where you are. Yeah, correct. Well, <laughs> what do you mean correct? <laughs> I'm the GM. I'm well, no, no, I okay. Yeah. Correct is then you understand that, me. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's what I really meant to say. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, not, yeah. Not, not, nice recovery. Make sure it checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just will go over to that door. All right. So they're going to start cycling that door, yes? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, got you. There we go, Thomas. Excellent. Uh, you don't know. Thomas, um, Lord Entrails Jr. is playing Ceres at the moment because Lord Entrails is out on the town with yep. Mrs. Entrails. With Mrs. Entrails. With Lady Entrails, I should say. <laughs> So, uh, Ryan, Thomas, right. Thomas, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Um, so, that was uh, that was Babu who did nothing but go over to the... Uh, so, not Babu. That was Jazz yes. who went over to the door. It's fine. Way to be useful. Uh, Kat. Uh, Kat, you coming to the door as well? Yeah, yeah. You yep. are? Babu and Cerise. Cerise, you're first. Great. Um... I will move there, and I will try to smash his skull in. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, that's part of the same deal. So you have a swing with your force axe on that one? Force axe on that one? Close. Very close. Yeah, but not close enough. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, Babu. You going to be a space barbarian Ooh, and smash nope. his skull in? <laughs> no, you know, no, 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 oh, that's a, that's a critical fail, dude. Uh, let's see no, it isn't. Happens. I guess he's brawl 98 or above. No, he's only, <laughs> five, he's only six or above. <laughs> you are not right. special, special. <laughs> but you are special. Yeah, special, yeah. He's very special. Give me a, uh, give me a damage roll, please, mate. Damage roll from the uh, axe? For, yes, please. I have a feeling someone's about to smack himself. Well, you're standing there. Yeah. Someone, yes, you managed to, you managed to put the force axe into your own leg, oh, or pseudo <laughs> leg in your case, uh, for 23 points of damage. And the skin suit stops that? Uh, skin suit would stop half, half of um, it. Half that, yeah. Yeah, so you take uh, you take eleven, and the suit takes twelve. Oh yeah, hang on, sorry, I forgot I've got to do that. Uh, yeah, Jazz. Be 
yeah, right. beautiful. Um, and uh, Daniel. Uh, let me get my power usage first. Well, for your axe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, Daniel. Daniel's going to watch the airlock with the S on it. Or the what is that? Oh, the door. door. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yep, yep, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, no worries. Uh, in that case, um, I'll get a fresh... Actually, no, I won't. I'll get a fresh, fresh load of the tax in first. Uh, well, they can't do anything because oh. they're too busy laughing at me with the axe in my leg. Uh, yeah, something like that. I'll tell you what, the penalty for using a rifle in, in melee combat is really stuffing you guys, or not stuffing you guys around, stuffing them around. But that's life. And issues, please, people. Yes, yeah, saving you, yes. And issues, please. Beautiful jazz. You're up. Was, were, were Kat and uh, I standing guard there? No, you're actually cycling that door. The door will be open at the end of this round. If you continue <laughs> to cycle it. Right, the, the doors that cat asked me to guard. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So My favourite doors. Mm. Now, if now, our, gentlemen. If our, if our fellow uh, teammate dies because this door takes uh, many rounds. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Babu. Well, after pulling it out of my leg, I'll swing again. Okay. With with Kat's Wrong new engineering one. skills, yep. she's going to engineer a quicker airlock door and make millions. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was awesome. And then you're going to lose millions in lawsuits about accidentally sucking people into space. <laughs> That's true too. It's a 12 a 12-second cycle rate on a door is not too bad for an airlock door. <laughs> Yeah. All right. There are no uh, modifiers that would make it easier to hit that close, is there? No, mate. We are missing by one. Yep. Yeah, it's annoying, but it happens. Uh, so that was Jazz and Babu, and so now that would be Cerise. I'm not, aren't I last? Uh, Jazz, Babu, Cat, and then, yeah. Sorry, Cat. My fault. Cat. Cat and then Daniel and me. Waiting for the door. Cerise. <laughs> Cat stands at the door. Keeps having that scene from Blues Brothers where they're standing in the elevator with the music running. Do, 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 do. I, I'll find that music if you're not, not careful. The elevator music. <laughs> um, girl from Pasadena. Um. So what are you doing? Did, what are you doing, Dan? Uh, what are you doing, Cerise? Sorry. Um, I will give. I I will try again to uh, hit it with the fourth sides, but I will hopefully sure. do better than my friend over there, and I will not hit myself. Hopefully. Much better this time. Yeah, much better this time. Uh, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, still not bad. Yeah, though. It's, it's not bad. It's just not, you know, the best. Okay, and Dan, you haven't had a go yet, have you, Daniel? No, not technically. But with the people engaged in melee there, I'm going to keep a watch on the door still. Okay. And listen in case another door opens up somewhere or airlock that I don't know about. At the bottom there? Well, I'm thinking the airlock we came out of might cycle open if they go all the way around. I uh, think we missed one. Two. Like there? <laughs> ah, okay, they came through that door. That's what I was wondering. Mm-hmm. Oh, there, everyone. There's the rest of them. Man, so, uh, it's a party now. This is 
Can you able to maybe do like a search for all if he notices them come in? Oh, I think uh, it's pretty obvious. You know, you know, some come in. Well, he um, was looking at the service door primarily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you would have heard the door cycle. Yeah. Okay. Even across the even across the grunts of Babu killing himself and his, and his chopping his own leg off. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Is okay. Is he able to take um, a shot then, or are you going to wait till next turn? No. Uh, I don't, you haven't got line of sight, mate. I mean, you can take a shot, oh, okay. but, sh but it's going to be shooting through Melee because, you know, you've got two Sapphire, Cerise, right, and Babu in, guys then. in front type thing. So, yeah, you're not going to squeeze your way through that, I'm afraid. So, uh, in that case, can I get initiatives off everybody, please? So I'm going to go ahead and assume that using frag grenades in the emergency power plant room is a bad idea. Oh, I think that's Probably. a pretty safe assumption. <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe assumption. It's within character, though. But, yeah, I don't know if we really <laughs> want to. Actually, that's a, a scary thing. It is within character. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, it would be out of character if you just threw one grenade. Therese is very fond of throwing two grenades at once because she's ambidextrous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's not do that, shall we, guys? Cat, you're up. <laughs> Doors open. Hey. Uh, two meter squares. One, two, three, four. She would walk there, have a look around, see Daniel, uh, and can probably move some more. Yeah, uh, probably could. So she would walk up to Daniel and say hi. All right, hi. guys. Uh, I sorry, I've just got to go AFK for a second. No problems. I'll, I'll back as quick as I can. And obviously, then she would see that this room is full of Sethar and be kind of happy because she might be able to use her uh, automatic rifles burst mode for the first time and hit. All three of them at once. <laughs> what, what are the chances of hitting our guys? Yeah. yeah they're there. Uh, pretty, pretty slim. <laughs> pretty slim. Cat. <laughs> chance of hitting us is probably about the same as you uh, performing surgery on us, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about the failed surgeon. We, we oh. missed you. We miss you there, Thomas. It's not just surgery, it's like... That last time in combat, Jazz was even a little bit better, but uh, historically, Jazz is crit fails quite a bit. Well, you got two robots to your credit, right? Oh, I think one was all. <laughs> I think one was... Uh, no, it's yeah, Marvin, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think I did knock one out, but uh, I think the other one, someone else knocked out. I think that was knocked out by a grenade. It must have been Cerise. I think it was knocked out by a grenade. Yeah, I, grenades are a lovely invention. Yeah, I pretty much killed myself with grenades. Taken out... Sather, I think it was, or no. There was some fight, and the only thing I could really do was throw grenades, and they kept bouncing back towards me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I eventually took out one or two of them that were charging my area, but in the end, I ended up passing out, too. It's funny how grenades, you know, bounce around. Yeah. <laughs> I think we, we tend to cheese that mechanic a little bit much. I'm uh, surprised that Matt hasn't nerfed that. <laughs> <laughs> We tend to throw grenades at the place that we don't want to hit, so we have more of a chance that we hit the other spot that we do want to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me I should aim for the critical uh, generator in this room, and I'll hit the south bar instead? Uh, throw it at Babu, yeah. and you'll probably yeah, land throw it at pile Babu, three and you'll hit, you'll hit all three of them and kill them in one shot. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. No worries. Uh, so, uh, the cat was moving. 
which you've just done. Yep. Uh, then we've got Cerise. Your action, Cerise. All right, I will try to cut it down again. Yay. Nice. Yay. Not a creep, but very nice. There and that Much will better. successfully cause it to... Uh, to go. Yeah. Paul's I always play uh, the Lumberjack song. <laughs> oh, no. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz? What are you doing, Jazz? Let's see. Jazz will move up. Following cat, uh, let's see, let's see, that's speed's 13 meters, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so 12 meters will put me about there, on the other side of yep. the door, looking through. Mm -hmm. um, no worries. And then I'll see the guy right on Babu. Um, does, does Jazz have line of sight to any of the other safe maps, aside from ones uh, in front of Babu? Yeah, it would do, but again, you'd be shooting past Cerise and or Babu to get to them if you're going to shoot. Yeah, the other one has to shoot through Babu anyway. So yeah. Um, Alright, so, I assume Jazz has his laser rifle in hand. I'm assuming that's the case. Yeah. Alright. And what modifiers do we have? We have cover? Is it soft cover? Yeah, soft cover, melee. Soft shooting the melee. It's at four meters, so. Um, we'll, we'll take a shot at the one, not the one in front of Babu, because Jazz is oh, fully confident case. Babu will take him down. All but right, in that case, uh, two, four, six, you're looking about eight meters to that one there. Yeah. Right, that is probably short, I suppose. For a right yeah, one. probably short, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so short. Soft cover. Here we go. Yeah, that's not going to work. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, Daniel. 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 Yep. I am not seeing how to buy any damage through the crowd still. Hey. I don't trust my shooting. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> then all you gotta do is I aim for us and you'll hit thump. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't quite think it works that way. <laughs> Uh, is that you? Are you is yeah, that you? Is I'm going to move there, and in case Babu happens to trip and fall, I might have a shot then. Mm, okay, <laughs> Babu, are you going to trip and fall? He's contemplating it. Guy once already. Yeah, you hit him once. He's wounded. All right, I'll hit him. Mm, yes, you will. I just like to see my black dice. Yeah. And he falls to the ground. These atses are pretty nice. Yeah, they're yeah. Probably, they're probably the best weapon, the best melee weapon in the game, I think. And Babu's good with it, too. And Babu's particularly good with it, too. One hit. Are you sure you're good with it? Two hit. Yeah, look what it did to my leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how it works. Daniel, um, one of the sapphires <laughs> shoots you for 13 points. Babu. Whoops. One of the sapphires shoots you for 12 points. The third, the third sapphire, sapphire misses Cerise. Which one shot at me? Uh, the one 
The one at that one. Clock, I think. No, the one. No, the one. The one next to that one. This one here. That one. Ah. Uh, that one. Okay. All right. So that's the one I want to grenade. Uh, these are lasers, <laughs> right? These are lasers. Yes, gentlemen. And Babu lasers. got how much? Uh, twelve points. Hello, you guys there? Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Sorry, just had a glitch in the system. I thought, have I crashed or no? no everything looks good. Yeah. Uh, oh, and three stars finally get shot. On the second shot for fourteen points. Oh boy. But uh, uh, I'll yeah. to see. She might have an albedo. Screen. Yeah, I. Yeah, there's the shield. Uh, that would be three points. Three. There we go. Okay. You know, I really want to throw a frag grenade down there, but at the same time, I don't want to cause the ship to blow up. Because I feel like that would make a bad first impression. Well, this one is just well the emergency power plant, right? So so it's a spare. Primary, it's a spare. <laughs> bad, bad, bad first impression. Bad last impression too, technically. Yeah. <laughs> um, initiative, please, boys. Excellent, thank you. Jazz. Alright, Jazz is going to fire again uh, at the same guy, the, the one at the top. Um, okay. I just realized 7 meters is actually point blank, so... Oh, that's um, better. You still missed the first time, though. Yeah. You missed by more than 10. Uh, that first yeah, time. so... Um, so I'm just going to put on soft cover. Mm -hmm. And... A laser rifle, I think, get two, two attacks. Is it? Yeah, just yeah, shoot once, and we'll get we'll go through this. We'll get the second shot later, but just to take this as the first shot right now. Uh, yeah, n yes, it's a hit. And it's set on ten. Uh, <coughs> sorry, that one was it. That's correct. And um, does Jazz still have line of sight on either of those remaining two? Yeah, you would, but you, I said, we'll take, just hold off that second shot for a second. Okay. Um, Cat. Alright. Uh, she'll take a shot at the one that is directly in front of her, the one that's in the middle near the door. Right. Uh... uh is Soft that? cover. Soft cover. Soft cover. Yep. Uh, two, four, six, eight. It's under ten meters, but only just. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, where is it? Uh -huh. And by the way, just to let you know, don't stuff up one of these shots with a uh, ranged weapon because you are shooting across consoles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a hit, though. Yep. Ah, oh, balls. Yes, two points. Uh, cat gets three shots, by the way, so just let me know when I get all three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah no worries. Uh, I'm just going to play it through this way. Um, Cerise, what do you think? Um, well, I'm going to shoot at the, uh, the one that shot me, because I have a grudge against that one. That very much is in character with Cerise. Yeah, yeah, very much is. Oh, that's goody a I. All right, that's okay. Yeah, six points. Right. <laughs> um, Babu. Yeah, 
All right, move up to that one on the left. Do I have enough to get there and hit them? Oh, if you charge. That works. Any modifiers for that then? Uh, it's actually plus 10 to hit, but it's uh, also plus 10 to be hit. Don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, you forgot well, to read the fine print. You would be fine if you hit him. If. Yeah. Um, you get shot by him on the way in uh, for 10 points. And Cerise, you get shot as well for 18 points. Oh. Uh, so, uh, I believe, I believe uh, Jazz had a second shot. Man, Jazz is doing a lot better than Cat. 28. He's also, 53 he's also out of power yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I only have like 10 shots at this. Sorry, was that, was that one on the left or the right, mate? Um, the one... Uh, let's see, the one right in front of Babu. Uh, the same one that yeah. was... But, uh, that one. Yeah, I think that's the one I have a better view of. Okay, and Until that Kat, little blob got in front of it. You had second shot as well. Yep. That yeah, nuts. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but you you made progress. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And uh Cerise has a uh, Daniel's Daniel's up for a second shot. And so Cerise. Yep, after. Yep. And your misses. Cerise. Good hit. Good damage. Come on. Up. Oh, all right. It's yeah, good. damage. All right. Good damage. Damage. Yeah. Below average, uh, but all right. Mm -hmm. And one more. Did I? Nope. Yeah, that's that's a hit. Oh wait, I did. Oh, sorry. I thought I didn't roll it. Okay, the first one. Yeah, obviously. Even better, Dan. Okay, and he goes down as well. There you go. That looks to be the last of them in this room. Anything from Andy? Sorry, I missed that. Andy? Andy report? All intruders eliminated, says Andy. It's about the entire ship? Yes. Sounds like time for a gin and tonic. Well, Kat was going to search these Sathar to see whether they found anything, but obviously she didn't see anything. No, she didn't. <laughs> Searching, <laughs> all right. Um, they appear to have nothing but um, uh, laser rifles, um, a clip, a spare clip, a spare SCU each, equivalent each, and that's about it. Uh, Kat would like to ask Andy where they got in, whether he knows that, and uh, go potentially go check that place out. Uh, through the top hatch. Through the 
very top hatch. Okay. Yeah, Remember, that's where they. Well, you knew that. That's where they first reported to. Yeah. Yeah. So you it's actually had like that information already. It's a bit like a ship attached to our top hatch, and then they invaded through. Could have been. More likely a shuttle. Mm. Hmm. Are we in deep space right now? Yes, you are. You've only you're only about an hour or so out of jump. Uh, hour, hour and a half, two hours. Well, now one hour, two hours out of jump. So, um, don't forget that when you jump, you jump at roughly ten percent the speed of light. So when you come out, you're roughly ten percent speed of light. Um, that's a pretty fast speed to be intercepted. Um, at but they did it. But they did it. Right as we came out of jump. Which, yeah, well, within a uh, within a couple of hours of you coming out of jump, yeah, that's. Um, it's yeah, pretty unusual. All right, well, looks like uh, the subconscious of uh, Cerise is uh, going to be fading away. <laughs> oh, within within a within a few minutes. Oh, so uh, what? So the the uh, um, the schizophrenic p double personality disorder is uh, is taking over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Pure rage for the Sathar triggered it. <laughs> it could happen, you right. Oh my god! She got mail. You bastard! <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I thought I had that turned off, gentlemen. I apologize. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> you still. <laughs> wow, that in that yeah, um, that email that I just got was from Dan and it was sent three hours ago and I just got it now. Wow. Yeah. That Gmail's playing up quite a bit of us there at the moment. Um, I've just turned that off. Sorry guys. I thought I had it turned off. Oh, I do apologize. Uh, yes. Anywho. Um, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do people? Um, Jazz wants to ask Andy uh, do, do you have a view of the external hull? Is there still a shuttle, a, a potential Sathar shuttle or some kind of ship attached to us? Uh, I um, yes, I, I do have a view a, a view of the external hull. Well, I don't. I can get one for you guys, though. Please do. Just wondering if there's. Some other well, you'll have ship. To, uh, you'll have to retire to the either computer room or the bridge for that. Okay. Um, before we do, um, one other question: Do we know which rooms uh, the Sathar have been in? Um, not exactly. You know where they've been, more or less. Um, on the lower deck. Um, they uh, were in, definitely in hydroponics at one stage uh, and probably auxiliary control and emergency, the emergency, emergency power plant area, definitely. Um, other than that, on the lower deck, it's hard to tell. Um, on the mid deck, on the bridge deck, um, they were coming from engineering. They were in engineering, definitely. Um, and uh, possibly uh, one of the computer rooms. Um, and then on the upper deck, um, well, they poked their heads around uh, into the lounge at one stage because that's where they. Uh, that's where you first encountered them. So, so uh, I'm thinking for Cerise to go down to engineering and check that out. I s Next, actually up to engineering, but anyway. Oh. Actually, I think we should just have Andy uh, read back what he uh, gave us, and we should check out most of these points to make sure nothing has been placed there or nothing's been missing from there. 
Yeah, I'm most worried about sabotage or something like that. Yeah, look, um, <clears throat> probably didn't have enough time. I mean, it was a pretty fast moving. Uh, it was pretty fast moving. You know, they they, um, a, as was mentioned last time we gamed, uh, if you're doing a boarding action, there's three areas you wanna you wanna take control of if you can: bridge, um, engine room, and life support. Um, they had the engine room and abandoned it within pretty qu from from Andy's. Andy's commentary, they were basically in and out of engineering within two or three sec at two or three rounds, 20, 30 seconds. Um, if that, and, and that is unusual, because as I said, you know, you you jazz know you're a, you you're a you're a soldier, you know, in the engine room is one of the places you want to take control of in a boarding action. Right. So why would they abandon it? Especially after that short of time, this is why it, it, we've come up with the, the thought that they were actually looking for something. Oh, we we're trying to extract something, like possibly the AI. Well, again, I'd be gone from the computer room if that was the case, and it is conceivable that with the manoeuvring around all the manoeuvring around the bridge deck, at least one group of South are passed through the computer room. Um. Possibly. At one point. Um. All right. I, I, Jazz would like to confirm whether or not um, you know there's any more since the Sethar ship might still be attached. So, Jazz will head to the bridge in order to see if we can figure that out. Um, okay. The the rest of the team, I guess, it's up to you. Might be worth doing a sweep just to. Just a quick check in some of those rooms, um, but Jazz will head to the bridge. Okay. All right. So Jazz, so Jazz heads heads to the bridge. What's everyone else doing? I think Babu is uh, going to go check out one of the computer rooms. Don't know if I can really uh, spot anything that might have been done there, but maybe I can. Well, it's the port computer room that was the one most likely travelled through by um, at least one group of Sapper. Yeah, Cat will Cat will go and check out the computer room and then check out the engine room afterwards because if they've okay. done anything in there, she might know. Okay. So that's what that's what Cat and that's what's Cerise and Daniel doing. I think Cerise wants to check the airlocks to see if anybody's attached to us. Do, unless You're I already know door. or don't know that. Is that you, Dan? That is me. Hi. How are you? Good. I hope everything went well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben yeah as I said... Uh, slice himself up again. As you yeah. <laughs> Babu critically missed with a force axe and cut his own leg. It's a flesh wound. Um, yeah, by definition, you're a dralocyte. You don't have any bone. It has to be a flesh wound. <laughs> That's all you are, is flesh and organs. Yeah. So Daniel's going to sweep through the uh, uh, different rooms down here in the lower level. Which rooms down here in the lower level? The med lab, auxiliary control, spare parts, hydrophonics, repair shop, emergency life support. So in other words, all of them? Yeah, I'm just going to take his time to wander through them and make sure they all look proper and there's nothing that he can right. recognize as not being or anything out of place. Yeah, all right. Okay, so um, up on the bridge, um, you pull up uh, some external views um of the uh the ship in particular the uh, upper and lower external airlocks uh no there is nothing attached to the ship um on the lower air or upper airlocks um but that's the only logical place um they could have come from so unless a shuttle's um if not docked near docked and dropped um, and dropped the sapphire off. Uh, who knows? 
um, but that's what you get from the camera shots uh, from the computer room it doesn't appear to be anything out of place at all in the computer room mm -hmm. um, so that seems okay um, Cerise you were checking airlocks out weren't you yeah yeah all I don't airlocks? know if they have any viewport windows or anything like that to verify no, they don't. Uh, there's no viewports on the airlocks at all. Um, you do uh, discover um, ten, nine, sorry, um, strange, um, strangely designed um, vac suits in the um, upper central airlock. Okay, vac suits that could be used by Sapphire, probably. Yeah, well, they're certainly not human shaped. Put it that way. So, was there anything unusual aside from being sapphire shaped? Was there something else unusual about them? Well, you're not there, so. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dude, you're not. You're in the <laughs> Cerise, what did you find? Yeah. So, investigate the suits to see if there's anything more I can tell about them. If there's any uh, communication devices on them, uh, or booby traps. Yeah, well, do you have the sabotage skill? Nope, I'm just a technician. Then you say you do have the sabotage skill. Uh, do I? Oh, you're right, I do. So, can you give me uh, a yep. sabotage? We'll start with a sabotage roll. Uh, Woo yes. Oh, hey, and the dice uh, roller's the fixed. Yeah, the dice rolling's <laughs> fixed. Oh, you don't know that. Yeah, I fixed the dice rolling over the over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not still not working in the tower, um, or the slash tower command. But it, all other dice functions work, seem to be working properly. Um, now, finally, took me a while, but yeah. Um, and thank you, Ben, for the help. By the way, um, credit where credit's due. Um, the suits are booby trapped, um, and your handling of them has set set a booby trap timer, some sort of timer off. Uh, do I have any idea how long the time is? Uh, not very long at all. Okay, so I will evacuate that airlock. <laughs> Enough time for the door to cycle so you can get out? Let's hope. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, you you uh, cycle out of the airlock. Um, anything else you're doing once you've cycled out of the airlock? Uh, run down the hall. And yeah, I will go do. ahead and give a uh, calm warning to everybody. Okay. Um, there is a, not an explosion as such, but there is a, a, a whoop of, of um, almost like a, it's almost like an incendiary, an, an incendiary grenade going off. Um, muffled, of course. Very, very muffled. More felt through the vibrations than anything else. Um, fire in upper airlock. Fire in upper airlock. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I can't do the voice. I'm not even going to try. Um, Andy's going off. Uh, Can he control the engaging, uh, airlock engaging cycling the outside? Sorry? Can Andy cycle the outside airlock open? Yeah. Of Just vent it. Uh, unless we want to save you? whatever's left of the suit for inspection. Well, no, it's standard standard practices to vent, the, vent it to get rid of the fi uh, get rid of any fire. So, uh, as you're suggesting, he vent it. He vents it. Venting airlock, as per standard operating procedure. You know, all this type of stuff. Um, so yeah, fire extinguished. Closing outer airlock. And Annie's just got a slightly smug tone to his voice when he says that. <laughs> well, he has. Well, I, I guess it's, okay. it's not unusual that uh, their suits are booby trapped. I mean, I think we've we've encountered we've we're we're aware that you know Saitar tend to um, prefer death over being over capture, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Andy, have you run an analysis to make sure there are no other 
that there are no unauthorized life forms aboard the ship? Nope. Would you please do that? Certainly. Uh, that please wait. If you, can, if you can include in that scan authorized life forms as well, in case there's another authorized life form on board that we actually don't even know about. <laughs> You're getting paranoid on me here. Yeah, of course. Getting? Uh, I don't six, think so. Six <laughs> authorized. Six. Six. Uh, sorry. Five authorized life forms. No unauthorized life forms. Uh, comes back uh, Andy's report after a moment or two. All right, thank you, Andy. Uh, oh, by the way, that that includes sentin sentinel life forms. Um, there's quite a few life forms in hydroponics, but I didn't think you wanted to know about those. Uh, just Sakia, no. Uh, so Daniel's been going methodically through the lower deck um, emerge, uh, robot storage seems okay um, full of robots what do you expect um, emergency life support seems fine uh, the repair shop seems fine hydroponics uh, there's a little bit of damage to one of the tanks possibly because somebody did something with a laser, a laser um, rifle for some reason um, no, certainly nothing that's going to affect the operation of the ship at all um, spare parts seems to be storage seems to be fine. Um, there seems to be no nothing wrong with auxiliary control, and of course, apart from several bodies in uh, Safa bodies in emergency, the emergency power plant and the f forward lower airlock, um, there's nothing else there. Um, can I get a, um, a search roll off you, please, Daniel? Thank you. Um, one item you do note, um, there uh, there are three um, heavy-duty metal, what appear to be storage cabinets in Med Lab up high. Yeah, you know, like uh, um, sort of like sort of like when you put plates in a in a kitchen, you know, glasses in a kitchen, cupboards. Right. Uh, uh, three of those. One of them has a um, small, and when I say small, maybe two inches, five centimeter in diameter, um, black and yellow um, biohazard um, illumination, slowly illuminating and not flickering, but but pulsing slowly. You know, um, maybe maybe goes bright and dim, maybe once once every couple of seconds. Uh, in a pretty regular pattern. Uh, but that's Andy, the, that's is Andy. there a biohazard in the med lab? Nope. Anywhere on the ship? Nope. Well, I relay that over comms in case anybody else has an idea of what might be causing this. Hey, Andy, what's in that cabinet? What cabinet? With the biohazard symbol on it in the med lab. What cabinet? Andy apparently does not see it. Um, Jazz will head down and take a look. Okay. Um, standard med lab, um, you know, surgical table, um, fairly bits and pieces, um, uh, standard, standard quarantine, um, uh, door on the med lab. Again, nothing unusual at all. Standard Starship med lab. Actually, actually, to tell you the truth, for a liner, it's probably a little bit sophisticated for a liner, as opposed to, but it's certainly, certainly nothing you haven't seen before. Um, it's a probably... It's sub. It, it, it wouldn't be up to scratch for a for a battleship's med lab, um, for a frigate, or, a, or 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 something like that. It's probably that level of of military style in terms of um, or science vessel med lab for a for a, a liner. It's a little bit sophisticated for a liner, um, but then again, 
you know, the new Dawn, and it's got Andy on board. I mean, you know, it, it's been, the whole ship's been done out as a luxury state-of-the-art Starliner, so having a slightly elevated med lab fits in with that motif, if you like. Um, um, but, yeah. Before um, doing anything with that canister, or, or you know, potentially... Cabinet. With that cabinet. cabinet. Cabinet, um, cabinet, yep. Before potentially doing anything potentially bad or damaging to the med lab, um, <laughs> ja Jazz, Jazz asks everyone else, does anyone need a, a bit of surgery? <laughs> or any bit of... Uh, Babu's down about what, 11 points. Oh, 11 points. Oh, let's just do some first aid on that. Here, let me inject you in the eye. Cat <laughs> um, would like to uh, her atmospheric Kaz just in this room, just to be certain that there's nothing weird in the med lab. Is that ten yeah. points then? Yeah, ten, 10 points back. Points. Yeah, mate. Um, yeah, give me a give me an analyze samples roll then, mate. If that's what you're using. Uh, the atmospheric as is basically a. Steroided uh, toxic rad gauge. It doesn't actually yes, have I a know. skill effect. Well, yeah. it does on your atmospheric you know, stuff, but that's okay. Um, look, the apart from apart from slightly uh, elevated doses of anaesthetic, um, of uh, of a disinfectant, um, mm. <laughs> you know, um, no, there's nothing there. In fact, even even that's a bit of a even that's a bit of a furphy, um, because uh, most of the um, uh, the lab is kept sterile by high intensity UV um, in a standard decom decontamination routine. Um, <coughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, Dan, you had one other question for Andy as far as the hydroponics and the non sentient life forms. Is there anything mm -hmm. in hydroponics that is was not there prior to the uh, uh, basic intrusion? No, no, all 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 uh, hydroponic uh, material accounted for. Uh, looking at the cabinet, is there anything from a medical perspective we can do to try and understand what that stuff is? Well, it's a standard it's a standard storage cabinet. Um, obviously, it's uh, um, again you you being a medic, you would have you would have at least seen these if not actually worked with them before um, usually it's uh, uh, hermetically these cabinets are, her are hermetically sealed um, and this one apparently has got some sort of biohazard inside it or it's a faulty light but <laughs> again <laughs> you know the ship the ship's got a brand new a brand new car smell to it so the fact of being a fault a, a faulty light was probably not the case you know what I mean? Right. And Andy doesn't so it, know what type of biohazard we've been carrying. It doesn't know anything. About, Andy doesn't know anything about it. That's obvious from his responses. Or its responses, I should say. Uh, mm. Hey, Andy, do you have visual in the med lab? Certainly do. Can, hey, Cat, can you point out that cabinet? Yep, wherever it is. Yeah, yeah. So one that cabinet that the uh, cat is pointing to. One of these to. ones on the bottom. Uh, uh, one of those ones on the bottom there. Doesn't really matter which one it is, but it's one of those yeah. ones. Right. Okay. So the cat can point it, point to it, and ask Andy what's in that cabinet. What's the what inventory cabinet? for that cabinet? What cabinet? The one that cat is pointing to. What cabinet? Okay. Thank you, Andy. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like yeah. Seems like that uh, that cabinet's uh, kind of a ghost to uh, Andy's sensors. Well, that means we could open it and he won't get angry. Right. <laughs> but if you can open it, Jazz is gonna take a step out before you open the cabinet that's flashing biohazard. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do, do we see any biohazard suits around anywhere? 
Yeah, there is actually two bio, there are two bio bio habit there are two biohazard suits uh, um, in uh, in storage in one of the other cabinets. Well, right. Cat will be happy to uh, suit up and put her atmospheric Kaz on the outside because she can talk to it with her body comp. Uh, so yeah, if we if we if we're happy to suit up and uh, see what's inside and see if my atmospheric Kaz goes off the charts, then we can do that. See what happens. All right, Chaz well, will suit up. With the well, well, lab, is there like an isolation point? Well, the medical lab is the isolation point. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, so yes, you could down. you could lock the lab down if you wanted to do that with people inside uh, or outside or both. Cat um, maybe I suggest just that I'll the medic doesn't sit in the medical lab while I do something very dangerous. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. <laughs> let's let's let, let's just back up a bit. Okay. Yeah. The atmospheric has okay. Fine. It's it's going to tell you if there, if there's something toxic around. Um, but that's all it's going to do. It's not going to tell you what it is. No, of course not. It, all right. But I mean, let's face it. If if the cabinet is re if the cabinet itself is reading a biohazard inside it, that's a pretty safe bet. Is it one hundred percent guaranteed? Well, no. But nothing's one hundred percent guaranteed. The, um, the CAS will tell me what effect it would have on life forms and what the causes of those conditions are. Hey, yeah. Kat, let me come down and saying... see if I can analyze the the biohazard warning and see if it's authentic, yeah. if it's hooked up to anything or if it's just a, a faux warning. Yeah. So I want to come down and do that. Okay. Jazz will give you the biohazard suit. Step outside. <laughs> um... <laughs> What's what's the method to kind of evaluate, uh, what, like, the nature of a, of a biohazard? Like Basically, you spend. I mean, okay, well, uh, apart from research, oh, you know, like, sorry, apart from records research, okay, um, the other thing would be, um, um, so record research uh, on the computer on the item in the cabinet. If it's got any record, if it's got a tag with it, um, if it's got a tag with it, if there's something inside in the first place, you know, there's that type of stuff. Apart from that, getting a sample of whatever it is and doing some analysis on it, um, which we don't have a biologist, but we do have a chemist. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> And you've got a medical guy too. So I mean, are they yeah. direct skills? No, but you can certainly use those skills to get. Biology them. is just applied chemistry anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, but, chemi <laughs> but, chemis but chemistry is just a subset of physics, and physics is just a subset of mathematics. Of mathematics, right? and, IT is, and IT is just mathematics <laughs> by another name. So it's all IT in the end. Um, <laughs> sorry, I like I like stirring my scientific friends. Um, so. Um, Look, a skill like a skill, uh, for example, right? Just looking at looking at uh, Jazz's sheet because it's one I've got up in front of me. Um, a diagnosis with some penalties would be one of the ones you use. Um, um, the chemist, you know, um, is it biochemistry? No, it's chemistry. But let's face it, they're pretty broad skills. So, um, you know, with the with the tools in the medical lab, plus your own knowledge, plus a little bit of luck. You know, it might take you a couple of day, you know, a couple of hours or a couple of days, uh, depending on exactly what we're talking about. Mm. Um, but you could certainly, you probably sit there and work it out between the between the lot of you. All right. So of course, if you had a re if you had an actual doctor. <laughs> hey now. So Cerise wants to a analyze that warning label is it just a label is it a sensor that has been it's triggered a, it, it's actually, well it's a light it's a light it's a when i say label it's a it's actually a it's actually inbuilt to the cabinet it's actually part of the cabinet you know it's one of these you know space age fancy warning type you know right um, but is it is it something that a computer or a person is going to flip a switch and say yeah turn on that label or is it 
tied to a sensor on the inside of the cabinet that when the sensor detects a biohazard, it's going to trip and light up. It could be a whole bunch of things. It could be either. Uh, and when you think about it, if if we're talking a bio, if you're talking if we're talking this type of thing, then it's probably a mix of the type of sensor that you'd get in an, a, in a Toxirad gauge or or an Atmos CAS plus uh, plus computer, um, you know, a, a computer um, uh, um, some sort of manual computerized override. You know, I mean. Um, Right, uh, so I've, I was, I've made a, ro- a skill roll to see if I can figure out what's triggered. I detect alarm defences. Yeah, look, um, from what you can tell, um, going back and forth between the local, uh, the local um, stuff and the local terminals and all the rest of it. Now, it's uh, a sense, it's sensor based. Um, so, uh, from what you can tell, the cabinet itself, unless it's malfunctioning. Um, or it's been rigged somehow to be super unusual. It's detect it, the the cabinet is saying that there's something inside it that is a biohazard, or it's been classified as a biohazard. Classified by who or by what? Is another question. But it's pre- pretty sophisticated, you know, science stuff here. Um, so, uh, yeah. Any um, idea if opening the cabinet is going to release that biohazard or not? Or well, is there you a don't... sealed container inside? Well, if it was a sealed container inside, there'd be no need to warn people about the biohazard. So, okay. I'll pass all that information on to Cat, and I'll leave the room. <laughs> is that cabinet movable? No, it's fixed. It's part of the bulk. It's part of the ship. And right, the, so there, there wasn't a talk of that being connected to a computer that wasn't Andy, right? There's no some secondary computer in this lab that well, Andy doesn't ship... have control over. Okay, are there secondary computers? There's secondary computers all over the ship for various reasons. Looking after the engines, looking after. The atmosphere, looking after the power plant, you name it. It's yeah. Are they connected? To, are they all connected to Andy? Yeah, they're all connected to Andy. Andy's got. Andy is the brains of the system. Hmm. But he has no knowledge of this cabinet at all, or what's going on in it. What cabinet? Is it? He, he doesn't even see it. Is it? Does that? That would seem very strange to Cat, right? <laughs> yeah, very strange. No. It's very strange to everybody. I mean, especially the medic. Yeah. You know, it's like this is yeah. You know, why you know? Yes, it's strange. It's not. It, it, this is not anywhere in the realm of usual. Yeah, and there isn't some. There isn't one of those computers around here that Cat could interact with and look for information. Oh, there's yeah, there is, but it's tied. Yeah, there's a there's a terminal nearby. Yeah, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, taking some penalties. Taking some penalties for the level of the computer, of course. That's yeah. still a damn good roll. Um, what were you, what do you, you want to display info, or is there security yes. to defeat here? Actually, display nope. info first. Display info, because that'll tell you if there's security on the system. Ooh-hoo. Okay, a um, couple of things. One, um, yes, you can display some information, and I'll get you what information you're after in a moment, uh, but. You've also stumbled, or stumbled upon might be a, might be too strong a phrase. There's a couple of um, uh, what appear to be video video uh, surveillance recordings. They're buried deep in some funny subroutines, um, and they're almost like they've been tried to be. Hidden and wiped, and someone's missed them or something. But they're they're unusual in that regard. That's because you've got a damn good roll. Mm-hmm. So, what were information were you after apart from that little tidbit? Uh, any information about the status of this biohazard threat or what might be in there? Um, yeah. No. Um, this is also unusual. Most of the records seem to have, seem to be non-existent. Almost, perhaps, that they've been wiped. 
Um, and the reason you say that is that every now and then there's like a pointer or a shortcut or a directory listing or something that indicate that it's not quite yeah but there's 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 information that was there once that is now missing um does cat get an idea of how this wiping may have happened could it have been remote to someone here uh by no, the safer it no the, 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 the look this could, could have the safer have done it it looks like you can't tell whether it's been done locally or remotely yeah except for the fact that doing a remote wipe of a ship close to jump speed in a yeah that's that's i mean you don't know whether you could pull that off um we also wouldn't be able to intercept a per, a ship at jump speed either no you wouldn't <laughs> it's not you, no not unless they had some knowledge of where it was coming out and what's and where and what direct direct unless they had information about where it was coming and what it was doing but you also got to be at their speed and be able to intercept too yeah which means they need to know departure times, departure dates, departure vector, um, ex jump uh, acceleration, jump speed and jumps. Well, the jump speed's pretty constant. Jump time can be worked out based on the the other factors I've been me I've mentioned already. All right, but you've got to know. You, you basically, you've got to know it's coming. So, yeah. And let's face it. Hypothetically. Yeah, you know, um, the t the subspace radio can can travel what faster than faster than uh, light can send faster than light messages. Mm -hmm. All right. So All right. who know, who knows? Um. So yeah. So but whether it was done remotely or 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 locally, you you, you can't. T there's no evidence one way or the other. Could have the Sather have done this? You doubt it, because it's such a good job's been done. In fact, you almost yep. missed it. That's how good a job it was. I mean, you are a, you are a pretty good computer person. You're not the best out there, but you're not bad. All right? mm. A top-notch forensic computer expert would have to dig to find this or be very, very lucky to find out what you found out. All right? And I know you got a you got a two on a percent yeah. old dice, you know. So yeah, so yeah. that's <laughs> you're yeah. getting a lot of freebies here. Well done. Yeah. Um, Is, yeah. Does cat do, can cat make a link between Andy not knowing about this and the wiping? Like, is that is that can kind I, of is make, there a relationship? Can you, a, can you make a forensic leak or can you make a logical leak? Uh, logic. Logically, no, no, no. I'm not saying logically. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. if if Andy does, if Andy doesn't know about it, if Andy can't yeah. see the cabinet or whatever, then yes, it's mm -hmm. possible that this is a, this could be a reason why. Can you find evidence of that? I don't know. Can you? Well, Cat is looking for these things, and then in case Cat can give me a display info roll. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. No. Nah. Uh, uh, she would obviously just dialing things back uh, if she can uh, can she grab the video surveillance onto her file comp yeah, uh, yeah. and then we probably want to watch it okay you're going to do that in the medical lab or are you going to do that elsewhere uh, well it's probably a good idea to do that with everybody else around uh, but yeah, uh, the problem is uh, if this is something that the whoever wiped this doesn't want Andy to see, we might be in for a bit of a trouble. I'll grab everybody together and share this information with them before I play it. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to uh, play it? So in the med lab? I don't know if there's a really a, a good place for it uh we could play it in the hallway if we want um oh, yeah, there's, 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 there's sensors in the hallway though there's nowhere the yeah. ship that andy can't see if that's what you're going for apart from maybe bedrooms well i was gonna say we could go into one of the cabins and ask for privacy from 
handy. And he might have yeah, a privacy that, mode that would turn off does. observation. He does. Well, and yeah, it okay. might actually work. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. All right, so where do you want to go? Which deck? So, I mean, does, it doesn't so, so, so the five of us, like <laughs> the five of us prowling through the, uh, the bedroom and uh, have Sandy for privacy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe what the want, private what, conference what, what room. What do you want it? Do you want what do you want? A bow chicka bow wow? <laughs> bow chicka bow uh, wow. I guess bow we'd wow. be heading to the presidential suite, the one that's big. Okay. But yeah, look, that's uh, the getting privacy from the ship's computer is not is not um it, it's it's a function that exists. It's doable. Yep. Um, and by the way, we wouldn't get it in the med lab in our quarters. Sure, right. no, you wouldn't get. It. Oh, your qu your quarters, you probably would. Um, be aware, though, of course. Um, I mean, privacy does exist, but be aware that that um, while privacy does exist, yeah, it's audio, it's it's audio, and vi it's audio and visual privacy. Um, things like um, if you were to have somebody in your room and you kill them. The computer would know that there were yeah. two alive people. Now there's only one. Or if you yeah. were to have a heart attack, they would know so they could send some medic. You know, it's not 100% complete blackout, mm. right? So, just for future reference, if you're thinking about knocking somebody else off uh, or committing suicide, <laughs> they're going to know about it. Would um, we think of those way. things? So it's not 100% secure. It's not 100% privacy, but it's it's as good as you can possibly get with, within those parameters. Yep. All right, so you're heading back up to the, top, the upper deck, is that right? Yep. Okay, have you finished playing with the cabinet? We don't know yet. It depends on this video. For the time for the time being, have you finished time. playing with the cabinet? Right, okay. Yeah. That's right. All right, so you all go up to the, the presidential suite, which I believe somebody was using. Um, in yes. uh, the the dining room conference area, um, you can hook up your um, display link to the main screen if you wish. Sure. Is that what you're doing? As long as long as we we I am pretty convinced as a computer person that that Andy's not going to get a whiff of that by doing so. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and yeah, you should yeah, also do that. make Give a copy. Or the videos I watch. Yeah. Sorry, someone was saying, was that you talking, Daniel, or were you talking in the background? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I was saying you should make an offline copy before we watch You're them, just very in case it triggers something. Faint, Dan. Anyone else having trouble hearing Daniel? Yeah, Can you guys like hear me now? Volume slow. Or the mic is away from his mouth or something. Maybe. Is that better? That's way better. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I was just trying to say you should make an offline copy before we watch the video in case it has embedded security. You may make a second copy, yeah. Because he's already got one yeah. copy on his, on his comp. Yeah, we could uh, always yeah. go back to the source. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to put it on my body comp, though. <laughs> Put it on somebody else's. Put it on somebody else's pad. PDA. I don't think anybody else. What? Did anybody else buy file no. comps? No. Nope. Don't we have that level two suitcase computer? Uh, yeah, that's, that's like stories. twenty kilos, dude, and it requires a hundred kilo battery. Oh. <laughs> They're not very portable. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not a laptop, dude. It's a, it's a heavy duty desktop server. Uh, that is in th th those two computers, the level three and the level four are in storage, but yeah. Yes, they are. They're in storage. Uh, they probably they wouldn't be powered on or anything, so that's a different. No, but we not. would have we would have additional storage stuff. So yeah, if we you want to, just say okay. Yeah. All right, so you yeah. make it, so you want to make a, you want to make a second, you want to make a backup copy of your backup copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. no problem. All right. Okay, um, the first video it is video um it looks like it's um ships 
it's looked like it's taken from the ship's sensors. Um, it appears to be the medical lab. Um, there are two blue suited, bio, bio has suited um, individuals. You've seen those um, bio has suits from the movies, you know, the blue ones with the oxygen supplies and things. Yeah, that's their type of thing. Um, two individuals, one uh, is very uh, carefully holding a um, small, um, s what appears to be a sample jar of some sort. The sample jar's um, sealed. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a, a, a bright yellow um, uh, uh, lid. Um, it's about two inches by two inches, so about five centimeters in diameter by about five centimeters tall. It seems to have um, some sort of um, sky blue translucent liquid in it, about half full, give or take. It's hard to tell. The video is not. 100%. Again, it looks like somebody, and this is your 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 thinking on it, Cat. It looks like someone's tried to have a go at wiping it and wasn't successful. Yeah. Um. Uh, it shows. So one. So one individual is, is holding this vial. Uh, the other individual is um, uh, opening up the suspect um, cabinet. Um, the second individual steps back. The first individual very carefully moves forward and puts the sample jar into um, a, a holding rig inside the cabinet, uh, seals, closes the cabinet. Um, there's a, uh, a hiss of a vacuum seal, um, and then the biohazard light starts to pulse, flash, like it has doing right now um, uh -huh. yep the, when the first cabinet when the cabinet's closed um, the second guy the second individual who was who opened up the cabinet moves over to the main control area of the of the med lab and then the whole um, whole place uh, there's a, 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 a hum um, and um, there there's a, a, an intense violet light bathes the entire med lab lasts for about two two and a half minutes um, jazz you recognize that as a high intensity uv um, disinfection all right okay. um, a decontamination if you like um, the two individuals in the Radcliffe in the Radcliffe suits, the, the biohaz suits, um, stand uh, stand with their arms outstretched and slowly rotate, slowly you know, spin themselves around, bathing in the in the in the the bluish light. Um, the light fades, uh, and the two individuals um, crack their uh, crack their um, their helmets. Um, and um, one of the individuals is Jazz. The other individual is Daniel. Um, Daniel says to Jazz on screen, well done. They both strip off the biohaz suits, put them away and move out the med lab door. So, well, that's weird. I don't know them. They they did that on their own. And that ends the first video, basically. So does it seem like it was like doctored? Like this video was doctored to place us there? It looks uh, genuine from what you can tell. Cat does I mean you you'll probably need to do this on the main on the main uh, on the on the original but but cat can't detect any um a any manipulation of it it looks genuine it looks computer generated genuine as in yeah you know, it's not it hasn't been spliced together uh, or if it has it's been done by somebody with a way more skill than cat's got mm, okay 
So I think we need we to shoot we Jazz and Daniel. Them. Sorry? I think we need to shoot Jazz and Daniel. They must have betrayed us. <laughs> Isn't that the only conclusion? Uh, no? Is there a timestamp on this thing? Um, there is. It's the it's um the day you arrived on board ship. And like we don't have any memory gaps or anything. Jazz doesn't have any memory gaps. Right? I didn't get drunk and pass out or anything like that. You know? Not that you know of. But then again, uh, if you had a memory gap, would you remember it? No, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be like, you know, I woke up and I was like, oh, wait, where have I been for the past four hours? I yeah, no, you can, no, there's not, there's, you, there is nothing like that in your, in your collective memories, no. Well, eventually we need to go back over any log entries of Jazz and Daniel for that time period to put them somewhere else. But um, right now, I mean, we know it's forged. Do we? Well, I trust Jazz and Daniel, and if okay. they say they didn't so, do it... Okay, so you assume it's not forged. You assume it's forged, I should say. Yes, right. yes. Uh, let's, can let's we look get at Andy videos. to uh, kind of give us a location of all of us on the first day of arrival? Yeah, we can do that. You know, kind of like, yeah. uh, where did we go, what did we do, and yeah, see what he yeah. says. Yeah, that, of course, of course, the, the, you're still in you're still in blackout in terms of Andy doesn't you know, yeah you can't ask anything without raising the blackout because you haven't said you wanted to do that yet so no we're, we're talking amongst ourselves and we yeah, do yeah. that and get what he says we did and compare the two yeah let's look at well, the as far videos as where, uh, where okay, well, other well, people are doing other incriminating yeah. stuff probably <laughs> just for the record. Um, the on the the day you guys arrived on board, you were together virtually the, from when you woke up and met to, met for breakfast until you went to bed that night. Apart, you know, you, you were to, you were together. Mm -hmm. right? Or or Daniel and Jazz were never alone, so that they could get together. That's your memory of things, yeah, you because know, you you had dinner, you in your cabins. You had, yeah, you, know, you 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 explored the ship as a group, you know, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll run forensics on that later. Let's um, watch the other videos. Yeah. Okay. The other the other video uh, the other video um, is time stamped uh, pretty much, not quite simultaneously, but pretty pretty close to the first one. Um, like within seconds and afterwards, it um, it shows uh, Babu and Cat and Cerise uh, all standing in a corridor um, outside a, a, a room uh, with a window in the door. Um, there's quite a few of those types of doors and corridors around the ship. Um, this one, uh, it's got, it's, it's hard to make out, but it, it, it does have med lab on the door. Um, the, the three of you on the video seem to be, seem to be looking, looking through the, 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 the door, the window in the, in the med lab door. Um, there's not, almost immediately after the video, the video starts, um, there's a, an intense blue glow bathes you from the window in the med lab door. Um, again, it's it's a little bit grainy. It looks like someone's tried to wipe it but hasn't quite gotten it. Um, like missed, missed part of it. Um, so uh, there's um, two, two and a half minutes of this blue light. Uh, and then... Um, you... Uh, the, the, the three of you, after a few seconds, um, um, after another minute or so, step back. The door opens up, and Jazz and uh, Daniel uh, walk into the corridor from the room, uh, which you assume is Med Lab. Um, Cat says uh, to 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 Jazz, um, "Is it done?" Jazz goes, "Yes." 
uh, and then bamboo bamboo rumbles oh man we are going to be so rich when we hand this over and then the video goes finishes ends all right and those were just the two videos uh just the two pieces of video footage yes all right so somebody's done a good job of setting us up <laughs> and they've intended this information to be found by themselves when the serena dawn comes to new dawn. or the new dawn comes to be investigated it was pretty it was pretty deeply hidden it w really was it was it would take a master forensic uh forensic uh, computer guy to find it or um, somebody who planted it or somebody who planted it if you're going that if you're following that particular line of logic jazz uh, jazz's guess is well i don't know exactly who but my guess would be that it's going to be like some sathar agents I think Sethar probably came on board to retrieve it, maybe, or I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Yeah, yeah. that I mean, it doesn't that doesn't really hold together. If the Sethar agents, why did the Seth, why did the, you know? No, I think we were set up to be held accountable for whatever for the Sethar destroying or sabotaging the New Dawn, or the New Dawn coming to further trouble later on. Yeah, possibly. So that when the Hulk of the New Dawn is found, the you know computer expert can find these videos. But if I'll they were one. really after I'll... sabotaging, they would have sabotaged the engine and we'd all be blown up by now. Well, unless they wanted something else. Unless they wanted... Uh, and the other thing is, you know, the, the, the setup could be done by the Star Devil and his folks. And that may or may not be related to what the Sathar were after. I think okay. Babu needs to do a little bit of research on his own. <laughs> on his own? <laughs> By yeah. himself? Yeah. Well, own? they can sit here with me, but I need to go through whatever databases I can get access to. I think well, I okay, want to go... It, through the politics and finances of our situation and see who benefits from our current situation who has has it in for us yeah well, you certainly do that I mean you would need uh, obviously you'd need Andy's not Andy's help per se um, but to tap into the Galnet you'll need to go through Andy yeah. basically to do that um, but that's fine you can do that um, I, mean, no, my I, think, thought, I agree, we're, we're being set up here for something, but the question is by who and for what reason. Yeah. The other option, the other thing is what, what, other, what other records are inside Andy that, that, has, that have been missed in inverted commas? Yeah, another question for you. What is our current status in terms of we just came out of jump and we are, we're still days away from whatever our next objective is, right? Next okay, month. in other words, your um, what's your itinerary? Um, uh, currently, you're you're several hours out of out of jump out of out of jump in um, Dixon Star system. Um, you weren't due to dock um, at uh, Laco, um, but you are slowing down to the point where you're under under 1G deceleration, slowing down to the point where you can um, insert yourselves into the outbound, um, not the outbound queue so much as the outbound calculations that Andy needs to do for your next and final jump into Prangla. Um, so you, you, that's, you, you're going to spend a couple of days um, slowing down, recalculating and, and, and then accelerating back up to back up to, to jump speed before you jump again. Um, How much can we alter that itinerary, either by uh, decelerating or accelerating hard, um, postponing the deceleration, that sort of thing? Because we need to change our... The first thing we need to do is change our itinerary. We cannot 
We cannot follow the regular flight plan. Well, you could. I mean, I mean, a delay is pretty easy. Just, just let Andy know you like to delay for five hours, ten hours, twenty hours, whatever it happens to be. Well, but the if we de- if we delay or reduce deceleration now, and then then we would keep a higher speed, and then we could decelerate hard, and then flip and accelerate hard to get to Pringler early. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, all the okay. Um, this is getting into the into the, the navigation and the and the way jump the way jump space works in this particular universe uh, game system. Um, you can risk jump. Yeah, okay. All the jump tables and all the jump calculations and all the other bits and pieces. It's all it's all worked out on. Um, it's all worked out on the 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 the, the basic idea of a one g acceleration or deceleration. Or one G acceleration um, to just under ten percent of light speed. Final calculations uh, for the, the uh, for the bits and pieces are, ju- are done, and then you you do that last little acceleration, which is the actual jump. Okay. Um, once you jump, you flip. You, you you spend a few minutes turning the turning the ship over, and then you start decelerating at again one G. If you were to go quicker you would need to do risk jump. You need to do a risk jump, which means the recalculate um, a whole diff- bunch of different um, uh, variables uh, and go at 2 or 3G um, acceleration. No one has successfully done a 4G jump. Um, it, the calculate, it, just, it, it just doesn't work that way. Um, a, 3G, th- a 3G jump's pretty, a pretty risky. A 2G jump's not quite as risky, but it's risky. Um, so yes, you can risk jump. It is a possible possible to do it um, on well known well known routes. Nobody does it unless there's an emergency of some sort. Um, civilian ships basically never do it, um, or if they have done it, there's been no record of it because they haven't survived the the jump. Um, you won't never you won't never not come out. But you will. But it's possible you come out somewhere where you don't want to be. Um, in game terms, we put the target, uh, we put the destination target uh, star system at the centre of a sphere, and you can end up at any anywhere in that sphere. Um, at, a, at, a, at a star system anywhere in that sphere in terms of light years. If you're doing a ten light year jump. The target we put the target system at, at, at in the middle of a ten light year radius sphere, and you can come out anywhere in that sphere. Now the way it works is you, you'll generally come out somewhere near a star system. You won't come out into the interstellar space unless you actually try to come out in the interstellar space, because okay. no one does. All right. So, so yes, you can risk jump. The problem is Andy won't let you do it. Okay. So we're going to have to we're going to have to come in late. Pre- that, that, that's outside his parameters for risk jumping. So, as I said, what you have, if you were in charge of doing the astro navigation, go for your life. But has anyone got the skill? And I know the answer. It was a rhetorical question. Um, yeah. It's one of the things you can. It's one of the things you can try and do once you once you are you do have that skill. They, that, that's outside Andy's parameters. So, coming in late, yeah, that just that's just a, you, you just delay the departure by X number of hours. That's you know within. Uh, you, Try and do it for two weeks, and I think Andy's going to spit the dummy because again it'll fall outside the, the calculations. Um, you know, um, delaying by a day or two. Yeah, you can certainly do that. I don't think that. I don't think Andy would balk at that too much. Um, even Did taking a, to... even taking. Well, hang on. Even taking a uh, a, a joyride uh, uh, in a ellipt- elliptical orbit in around um, Dixon Star. For the, and go sun hopping. I mean, I think Andy would even let you do that, possibly, depending on how close you wanted to get to the, to Dixon's. Um, would we be able to? At, you know, who knows? Would we be able to come in on a different vector, or is it the vector going to be the same coming from Dixon's Star to Pringler? It's pretty much the same. I mean, when I say, I mean, in, it's pretty much the same in interstellar terms. You know, okay. in intercept in intercept terms, it's pretty difficult. To get it exactly right, especially within a couple of hours of 
of actually translating in, jumping and in. And yet the Sather did it. And yet the Sather did it, and that should be ringing alarm bells. If it's not, I'm telling you, it should be ringing alarm bells. <laughs> Is there an alternate path we could jump from Dixon to something else to then Pringler? Only by risk jumping. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Dixon's to Pringler is the one. It's, there's only one known jump route, um, which doesn't, which isn't to say there aren't others, but there's only one. You know, you can't go via, you can't go via another star. You can't do a triangular. You can't do two sides of a triangle. There is no two sides of a triangle for Dixon Star. It's Dixon Star, Pringler. It's, 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 there's only one route. Okay. Yep. That's just asking. Yeah. No. That's all right. I'm just, just letting you. Yeah. You know, just filling in. So did we want to I mean, delay our arrival to Prangla, or were you thinking like to just kind of take a different route and try to obscure our, our path, or what was uh, what was your thinking? Um, basically, so that as, as best we can obscure our time and location of arrival on Prangla, so that we can't be jumped again. Hmm. Uh, we probably won't be jumped again, but. You know, I think even if we just delay 10 hours, that, that helps buy us time when we jump into Pranglar, because if if we're expected, now that means well, we don't arrive, I mean, if we arrive 10 hours late at Dixon Star, then whoever communicates our arrival and our jump is going to have the new time. We want to delay it, to delay the change in our flight path to as late as possible so that there's a minimal amount of time to adjust to our new trajectory. But I don't know if there's a lot of a lot that we can do in that regard. Yeah, delaying is probably your best bet. Your exit vector is going your, your your transit vector is going to be in inverted commas the same no matter what. Um, having said that, don't forget in 10 hours I know it doesn't sound like much, but in 10 hours um Dixon Star and Prangler are going to move relative to each other, even if it's only by an infinitesimally small distance in terms of interstellar distances. They are going to move, and therefore the calculations need to be different for that ten in that ten hour delay. Um, and of course, the gravitational effects of planets and, and and objects in that ten hours is going to be different. So all of that it does affect all of that will affect your trajectory, but in interstellar terms, your trajectory is going to be the same in inverted commas. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like you what know. I would ideally like to do, and I don't know if this is possible, is get to jump speed or just shy of jump speed, coast for ten hours and then jump. No, I can't. No. Right. Yeah, lo, not nice to do then it. We no, wouldn't have the, 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 well, you wouldn't have gravity, but not not only that. Um, the calculations, the calculations um, at that speed, the calculations can't be done very well. There's too much risk involved for the calculations. This okay. is why you're slowing down, you're slowing down in the first place, to get down to a, a, a lower speed where the dilation effect, the, rel the rel relative relativistic, I can't even say it, the relativistic uh, dilation effects of travelling at high speed don't affect the calculations as much. Right. That's why you slow down, even if you're not making landfall. Oh, by the way, talking about making landfall, um, have you possibly considered the fact that where, whenever you do make landfall, wherever you make landfall, the customs guys are going to come on board and do an inspection? Oh yeah, yeah. Kat wants to vent this thing out the airlock. Uh, she doesn't want us to get caught with this stuff. <laughs> Well, we do know how to decontaminate it, right? At least decontaminate the med lab. Yeah, yeah med there's the med, med lab. I don't um, know if we have the transport container anymore. Well, that it, it could be in the cabinet. Mm. It could it could be in there. Yeah, could be. Um, but yeah, you're right. We do need to vent that. I. Ideally, it would be great if we could find some way to remove that cabinet and just ca get the whole cabinet out. No, uh, it's but part it of sounds the like that wasn't possible. No, right? it's part of the bulkhead. It, it, it's 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 part of the ship. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to look for a biohazard containment uh, in the med lab. See if there's a, a containment cylinder, a portable cylinder. 
Otherwise, we're going to have to hope that there's one in there. Just understand, make sure you know how to trigger the biohazard decontamination before we open that cabinet. Yeah. So put it in, decontaminate, well, yeah, send it, it out in there. It all depends on how biohazard on how biohazard it is. I mean, if it's common cold, for example, you know. Well, right. But, something, you know, but if it's Ebola. <laughs> well, yeah, but somebody yeah, wouldn't be yeah, setting yeah, us up for the common cold. Yeah, well, yeah. So the other thing is you might want yeah, um, you probably need to find out what it is anyway. Um, wasn't, wasn't there it, that it, historical it, plague? Hey, sorry, what was that? Wasn't there a bio plague in history, I don't know, 10, 50 years ago? Yeah, yeah there was. Blue plague? Yeah, blue plague. Uh, and the stuff was blue, so there you go. No, 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 no. It left, no, no, no. Blue plague left blue welts on people. Any volunteers? <laughs> it had a pretty hefty mortality rate, dude. I know. I'm joking. Um, don't know. Okay, it's in the it's on the web page, but I'll I'll summarise for you. Just, just yeah. Um, five planets in the system were permanently quarantined absolutely permanently quarantined never never allowed um never allowed you know the the, the upf have the the space space fleet has a destroy on site order for any ship leaving one of these five planets okay three planets were temporarily quarantined um 17 billion people died or beings died uh during the course of the plague um and survivors, who are relatively few, are uh, left with hor horrific um, scars and blue welts uh, all over their bodies. Um, yeah. And it was about 40, 50 years ago, from memory. Yeah. So here's so what I mean. I mean we're jumping it, you're jumping at shadows here, though. I mean, you know, there's, there's, you don't know what it is. It could be, it could it be blue plague? Possibly. Could it be Ebola? Possibly. Could it be common cold? Possibly. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what it is. You need oh, to right. find out what it is, though. Uh, but are, if, are only, there if, if only to work. Sorry, you need to find out what it is, if only to work out how to get rid of it properly, because jettisoning yeah. it into space may not be the answer. <laughs> it may it, well. It, it may certainly get rid of it off the ship, but it, it, yeah. it, you may be. You may be. You know. It may not be a good yeah. thing to do that. Well, yeah. let's, let's, um, why don't we, uh, change our trajectory to orbit Dixon's star, not the planet, okay. but the star, uh, the star, yeah. and then if we do want to jettison it, we can jettison it into the star. That's pretty much the best way to get rid of something. Um, yeah. Putting it into a nuclear fire is generally a good way to kill things. Yeah. Unless it's a nuclear monster. Sorry. I couldn't help. So. <laughs> Do they take full damage from laser fire? Who? Meteor monsters. I don't no idea. You have to you have to find one to find out. All right. So is is there enough uh, computer scanning equipment for Jazz and Cat to make a amateur biological sort of sampling based on our combined chemistry and medical? Well, it depends. Okay, well, depending on what your skill roles are, yes. Yeah, all right. If you wanted to do, if you wanted to do that. Well, we got to figure out what it is. So I think yeah. it's hey, Jazz and got, Cat. Hey, we've got Dave, so. Yeah, and I he was going to. Yeah. I was going to say to Babu and Daniel that while Jazz and Cat are dealing with this, we should take turns on the bridge. We need to have a more than, more than Andy paying attention to any incoming any ships in the area uh, before we go messing with this thing uh, do we <laughs> want Pat to properly uh, wipe the video surveillance from this computer yeah, yeah. Given, that, given that she's found it uh, she should be able to wipe it yeah, yeah. Um, 
just something something to consider. Um, if you of guys course, are as, we, ins as close as we kind of research this biohazard, there's just going to be new videos of us messing with it a bit. That more that too. Um, but if somebody is setting you up, mm. um, I tell, okay. If I were set, if I were setting you up, there'd be a copy somewhere. Mm. You know, just in case the computer expert misses it in inverted commas. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll probably not it. tamper with it because there would be evidence of our tampering or there's a good chance of it and if we just come clean mm. and have already dealt with the issue then we can say, look, this is what we found, this is what we did. Somebody was trying to set us up and we handled it. Yeah. I guess once we know what it is, we can uh, maybe ask Andy uh, and see if he, he knows rather than trying to wipe things straight away. Yeah, that's fine. That sounds good. Okay. So what's what's the general, and I use this, the term loosely, what's the general plan of attack, gentlemen? Uh, I think in the name of uh, Barney Stinson, we're going to suit up. Uh, and then hopefully not kill ourselves. <laughs> and Cerise no, is going to head to the bridge and learn anything. how to do scans and track objects and calculate trajectories and intercepts mm -hmm. and things like that using as much real Bab data as she can. And Babu's going to do some research on the political side of things, I believe you said. Is that uh, right, Babu? Political and financial. Okay. All right. All right, Babu. Um, give me. Uh, you, you've got obviously po political, s political. Um, political and finance. Knowledge. Can you give me um, three rolls of each, please? Um, this will be over. This will be over several days worth of, of, um, of research. not here. <laughs> Alright, um, Jazz, what skills do you, were you going to be using? Um, I would just only have diagnosis, medical diagnosis. Alright, well can you give me... If, if I kind of identify the nature of it, then I might have some of the other skills might come into play. Yeah, okay. Well, let, give me three medical diagnosis Roles again. This simulates several days worth of um, work. Okay, and then I need it. We need, need Cat back for the rest of the stuff. In the meantime, okay. Reese, um, okay. you putting some time in to learn how to do what you wanted to do. Um, yeah. So I'm le I'm learning. I in, on the pretext of learning piloting, I might as well spend yeah. some time learning that. But I really am trying to make sure that there's no other vehicles that are going to intercept us or anything going wrong. Learning emergency protocols and what all the lights mean and, you know. All right. Um, Have we so died? Got... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, slow down. I'm just checking something. Have you died? I don't know. I'm waiting for you to, to roll some dice and tell me, mate. Oh, sorry. I was. I just had to think. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. You know, which mate, which cool. uh, skill would you like? I'll give you. A, I'll, I'll give you. Give it to you. I'll give it to you in a second. I'm just looking okay. at this. Um. Can you give me, please, Daniel? Uh, sorry. Can you give me, please, uh, Cerise? Um. Again. Can you give me three? Op uh, technician operate roles. We'll use that as the basis for your general bits and pieces. And 
one more. Thank you. Okay. All right. And you, Cat, um, your... I was about to say geom geom ge geomology. No. Um, your chem... Uh, <laughs> Your chem analysis skill, yep. please, mate. Uh, three rolls again, simulating several days worth of work. Now I used up all my good rolls on the computer, so these are going to be like crit fails, and we all die. <laughs> <laughs> Ye of little faith. Now I am putting some penalties on this too, because we're not we're not yeah, of course. School, by the way. Still not bad Holy rolls. Holy moly. Not bad rolls at all. Okay. So here's some inf and Daniel's doing whatever Daniel is doing. Um here's some interesting things. Cerise, you manage to um put together some general knowledge for yourself in terms of um what's coming, what's going and, and things like that. Nothing looks like it's coming close. Um or close enough to intercept anyway. Um you do get the bright spark late on the second day to run through some previous records uh, and you reckon that you, uh, on day three, by the end of day three, uh, have spotted um, a ship, in the historical records, um, a ship um, matching um, velocity, um, pulling four or five G to do it, by the way, um, matching velocities from you guys once you jumped, and you think you've spotted a, um, a small, uh, a small um, vessel, possibly a shuttle, um, transfer from one fr fr from the ship that matched velocities to you guys, um, and then um, uh, and then uh, retreated back, uh, retreated back again. Um, by the time you guys had defeated the Sapphire. Uh, that, let's call it a shuttle, that shuttle had returned to its ship and the ship had, had broken broken vector and disappeared into the into the, into the depths of space. So one so conclusion a... from that is it was a, the Sathar was a suicide squad or they were going to take no. over the ship because or their shuttle well, had left before. Yeah. But maybe they were, they were just, you know, signal them come back once their mission is complete. But yeah, they they're your three succeed. options. There are your three options. Take the ship, suicide mission, or um, a hit and run. Um, and the way that the Sapphire, and this is Jazz saying this, the way the Sapphire were moving throughout the ship, it wasn't a seizure. Again, they avoided the bridge, they didn't. They, they left the engine room, and they weren't looking for the emerge, they didn't make, yeah, they weren't going for life support. Right? Um, so... And they also ran away from us, so they weren't planning to engage us either. So yeah, they definitely seem to be on a search a search mission. So um, I'm just going to make a suggestion while you know Cerise and Babu and Cat and Jazz are doing this for for Daniel. Um, maybe he'll just spend time continuing to search throughout the ship because maybe there's some other odd things to be found aside from this biohazard. You know, <laughs> that we Excellent, excellent idea. choice. Can you give me three search rolls for Daniel, please? Again, simulating three days worth of. A. You found fifty cents in the cushions of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you don't find anything else of interest in most of the ship. Everything else seems to be pretty much in place. Um, the good news is, is in your general searching you do find um, a hermetically sealed um, uh, container in the spare parts storage um, the container itself um, is about um, 15 by 15 by 10 centimeters um, or 6 by 6 by 4 inches if you prefer um, it's empty um, but it could be used to safely possibly depending on what it is um, transfer whatever is in the biohazard to wherever you need to transfer it to the trouble is it's only rated up it's, it's, it's only rated guaranteed up to level four biohazard so um, this is something that that you know jazz um, biohazards generally coming six levels um, level one being 
nothing to worry about. Level six being, you know, well, level four being a bowler, level six being blue plague, as an example, um, of the type of things that you know you, you need to deal with. Um, so it's guaranteed. This box is guaranteed a level four, and obviously it'd be depending on on uh, it have a chance of failing for level five and a bigger chance of failing for level six. How big a chance of failing? Well, who knows. Um, th there's, there's, there's no manufacturer's warranty card with it. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, but that's a bit of good news, possibly. Um, the fact that you, you know, if you depending on what you wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you should take that and put that in the med lab. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it in the med lab. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Jazz and Kat, I'm assuming. Uh, are you wearing your biohaz suits? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, you managed to um, convince the cabinet to unseal itself. Um, and uh, yes, there is this um, five centimetre by five centimetre jar with a yellow, uh, yellow ho uh, tap uh, top on it. Uh, the jar has a it does have a, a tag on it, a label on it. Um, and um, the label basically s is simply um, it doesn't say what it is but it does ha it does have the standard biohazard 6 um, label on it so whatever it is is nasty stuff oh since w I think we've all left the room I assume we're yeah. no longer on privacy blackout oh yeah this is over three yeah. days right I yeah. sorry just making sure I want this all yeah, yeah. recorded yep 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 yep, yep. Well, do you yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I think mm. we're not trying to hide what we're doing. Okay. Because we're not um, doing anything that uh, suspicious. I mean, we're trying to figure out what's going on. So it's a record mm. of us you know, doing the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, the um, uh, when you see the biohazard six label, you're you're both suitably freaked out. I hope. Um, mm hmm. Um, very carefully, very gingerly working through. Over a couple of days, it does take you a couple of days, um, but the more you work with it, you're not 100% sure, but the more you work with, with with this stuff, whatever it is, the more you're starting to think, yeah, it is possibly blue plague, either natural blue plague or synthetic blue plague. And if it's synthetic blue plague, that's a whole other can of worms. Just so you guys know, we bring food down and leave it in the airlock, and you can come get it. The rest <laughs> of us eat up in the lounge, but you two aren't allowed to leave this level. Not until you do. Well, you decontend every day. Yeah. I know. And we're, we're aware that that decontamination is, will fully decontaminate level 6 biohazard? It will. Okay. It will, at least in, in the trace amounts you're going to get on you. If you were to leave the vial out in 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 the open, the medical lab probably wouldn't be able to decontaminate it completely. You know, you, you you're not you don't unscrew the lid. You put a syringe through it and put, draw out some of the, you know what I mean? Yeah, can can you hot box so it? D during this this time period, you know, when we we're trying to um, mm -hmm. you know, figure it out more, can we also ask is is it within Cerise's capability to see if he can potentially reinforce that containment box? And I mean, we won't really know, but you know, if it'll work no. out. No, okay. no, no. The generally, it's it, the, he doesn't have the engineering skill to do that. Um, sorry, mate, you don't. <laughs> no, I didn't think I would either. Um, it's pretty specialized. It's pretty specialized skill skill set that type of thing, and. Um, yeah, I mean, you can play with it if you want, but I mean, the chances are you'll stuff it more than you'll help it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to mess good, with good it. I it was a good idea. It's a good idea, though, in that regard. We can add a Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think a Ziploc bag is good for level one. I'm talking the double zipper, you know, the freezer yeah. bags. Yeah, that's probably, about as, that's probably about a level one biohazard protection. Yeah, maybe level, maybe level two. As yeah. long as you don't drop it, or it's acidic. As long as you don't drop. 
Yeah, I rest my case. <laughs> hey, okay, things like so that have happened in, in, in labs. I was in a I was in a chemistry lab uh, at uni, and the guys next door um, dropped a vial of um, I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, vaporized on contact with the air and poisoned the base. And, and basically, poisoned. They had to decontaminate the lab. Uh, it was pretty nasty stuff. Um, and by by decontaminate, I mean vent it uh, for 24 hours uh, with a big fan blowing and sucking all the shit out, you know, into the atmosphere. So pretty nasty stuff whatever they did so people drop things all the time guys you know <laughs> yeah yeah so, um, so yeah so in terms of our research then all, all we're able to determine that it's probably some kind of group plague like uh, yeah whether it's whether it's natural or synthetic it's hard to tell okay um, and but uh, if we if we speak to Andy or go on the Galnet for this, we have a pretty good idea of how Blue Plague is transmitted and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's aerosol. Aerosol. That's the worst way you can do it. Um, the the records um, not sketchy, but they're historical because you know the planet's been um, it's been clo- the, the 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 five Greeks are obviously quarantined still. Um, there's information on how to recognise uh, the blue plague in, from the, in the literature and things like that, but there is none available. There's, I mean, the CDC does not, or the equivalent of the CDC, does not have a sample. Um, yeah. And if you know if you know anything about the C, the real life CDC, they've got they, they've got samples of everything. Um, yeah. Black death. Bla- um, black death. Right. Bubonic plague, you name it, they've got samples of it. Common cold, Ebola, um, anthrax, you name it, they've got, they've got it for research purposes. Uh, the um, UPF, the UPF um, Medical Service, I can't think of the, the exact acronym now, they don't even have a, co- they don't have any samples anymore. If they do have samples, it's certainly, they don't, sam- they don't certainly talk about it. Yeah. Um, it's, de- it's deemed too dangerous. You know, I was thinking like, it's a good thing we're not in the 40k environment because otherwise <laughs> blow us away if, yeah. if they found out well yeah, UPF well. has orders to shoot on site if they think we're contaminated well shoot on site if any ship was it tries to come in from those systems right but, yeah. but I think if, if well if it's if we can prove that it's not spread or the you know, contamination hasn't spread then I don't think they're going to shoot us because it sounds like there have been survivors like that uh, that have been treated and are currently living in the frontier. And they weren't just killed yeah. off willy-nilly, right? No, there, there, there is a vaccine, and the, the, the UPF Medical Service actually came up, came up with a vaccine. Um, a, 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 not, not a vaccine, a, 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 a vaccine cure, basically, not a, you know. Um, and they managed to stamp it out, but I mean, you don't qu- you don't permanently quarantine five planets, five systems, you know, if you've got a one hundred percent cure. You know right. what I mean? Right. Um, so, but I mean, the way to do it would be to check check the records, check what the Galnet says, check the legal records, check all that type of stuff. Uh, and Babu's doing that now, checking legal records and things like that. Not for blue plague, he's checking it for other things. Um, but he's your, he's your politician. He's your yeah. You know, he's the one who'd, be, he'd, who'd know. Someone's got legal skills, haven't they? I don't mm, think so. I don't have law now. No. Oh, okay. So yeah. So that's what you find out. That that's the the, the bio side of it. Um, okay. I'm assuming you everyone's relaying everybody Can all I, the uh, information back and forth. Everybody is that right? Run yeah. down the the background of mm-hmm. what we got so far that I see. Sure. We kick Sather and uh, uh, Star Devils, and that pisses a lot of people off outside of Trudane Star because they have ties with them. And then we get this plum assignment that's supposed to be a milk run. And we find a supposedly scrubbed videotape of us planting this blue flag. And then Sather are able to get onto the ship. And our next destination 
is a central hub and probably the most populated area of UPF, right? Certainly one of the most populated, yeah. I don't know if this ship's going to survive getting into Perligar system. Prengalar. Prengalar system, yeah. Well, or well, the, or the Sathar's goal was to release the contaminant um, so that when the ship arrives in Prengalar, people come on board to investigate. Right? Or how about how about this? And this is again just spitballing. How about this for for an idea? The Sapphire knock off the sample to produce, if, especially if it's if it's synthetic, um, or even if it's real, to produce a synthetic version that they can then biobomb the UPF with. Yep. Yeah, that works too. I mean, they're all they're all scenarios that 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 that, that hang together somewhat. Except that for the Sathar to know that that's here, somebody had to put it here and tell them. Well, yeah, there could be and two plots probably going. the same ones that put the videotape in there to, or the video to implicate us. Well, it all depends on, on who's implicating you, I suppose. But, I mean, as Dan said, it could be, t it could be two... It could be it could be two sets of actors going on here. Yes, it could be, but how would the Sathar know it's here? Even though that's what we can almost well, assume that's what they were looking for. I mean, Sathar have their own spies and intelligence network. Uh, I mean, they they do. So I mean, you know, there, there could be something else going on. Sathar cut cut uh, found out about it and saw an opportunity to grab a bio weapon. Yeah, that's a possibility. So. In terms of how do we resolve our situation? Um, well, you haven't got to, hang on before you go there. Okay. I've got more. I've got some. So, Babu, um, yep. your politi your politi politiki knowledge and your financial knowledge. Look, um, it's uh, you already know that um, Terrain Transport is a subsidiary, a daughter company, if you like. Eventually, it goes back to Streel. Um, Streel, uh, indirectly, Streel was uh, one of the, um, or some of the executives of Streel were some of the individuals named in the uh, the Star Devil documents that you brought back from Volturnus. Um, if you recall, there was a quarter of a million dollars million credits worth of ore that you guys accidentally slagged down during the, <laughs> the Battle <laughs> of Slave City that. 1. Um, the point is, you don't ship, you don't offload a half a, a quarter of a million credits worth of ore to anyone. You know what I mean? It's got to it's got to be offloaded to somebody big. Um, and Streel being the number two megacorp in the frontier um, there are I mean like with any large organization uh, uh, capitalist organization otherwise there are some nasty rumors going around about some of Steele's Steele's practices um, so and they are kind uh, of it, uh, enemies to be cheesy and collective tax forcing and if you guys Put a put uh, the stick into somebody's eye uh, by clearing up Volturnus and wrecking a multi-million credit um, operation. Um, somebody might have it in for you. Um, and in fact, you're speculating, but you find enough uh, information um, with with what's going on. To certainly lead credence to the idea that that yeah, you guys have are being set up because you stuck stuck a stick in somebody's eye. Um, yeah, they even have a headquarters in Truane Star. Where they are, yeah, exactly. Um, that's the they are Truane Star's megacorp in that regard. 
Um, sounds to me like we're no longer going to take jobs from Streel or their subsidiaries. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> we're poking, an eye, poking them in the eye. We can poke them in the other eye now. <laughs> um, so, look, look it, it, takes a, it takes a while. It takes several days of research and, and back and forth and as the information comes to light. But, it's again, you don't have proof, you, but you have strong suspicions that um, Streel ha- it have somehow Streel got a got a hold of either um, some original Blue Plague or developed a, a synthetic version somehow and more likely found um, there seems to be um, some indication that eventually um, the best place to d- to do full further research on this on this would be Steel's Streel's corporate planet, New Streel, I think it's called. Um, and Perangalar is certainly the way to get you know, is the hub to get um, ships out that way. Um, so if somebody if somebody wanted to transfer an illegal substance, get it past customs um, and the rest of it a private ship uh, from one of the major megacorps with all the customs being cleared like you were told what would have been um, and then get it past get it out that way to do further research on it um, is certainly uh, certainly the possibilities if it was found having a having a set of four guys um, to take the blame um, would certainly cover steel steel's ass uh, in that regard, um, but in all your research and things like that, there seems to be no indication at all that of Sapphire involvement at all. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we do not have a link between the Sapphire and the Star Devil. No, you don't. Apart from Quincent's at this stage, as far as you're aware. Right. And yet, like I said, we are heading towards uh, Prengalar, which is PGC's, one of their headquarters, as well as a major hub. Yeah, I mean, I know Streel and PGC uh, are at each other's throats, but uh, in terms of commercially, but I'll tell you what. That's yeah. You know, I can I can see I can see a megacorp wanting to develop by a bioweapon. I can't see a megacorp wanting to unleash a bioweapon. I mean, they're not. I mean, okay, they might be evil, maybe, but megacorps are motivated by profit. There's no profit in wiping out. Yeah. You know, Unless they uh, have. Uh, vaccine for it unless they have a vaccine for it but I mean we have a back we have a, a, a sort of a kind of a cure for uh, an immediate vaccine for it maybe that's what they're sending it to new Streel for if that's what they're doing to to develop a better vaccine for it that they can then sell but I tell you what that's a pretty monstrous plan even for a megacorp that's a pretty monstrous plan so yeah. that, 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 that's that's dr. evil level stuff that is one Here, million dollars. <laughs> Here's and my my and thoughts. I quote, SCX we tries to eliminate the competition. Its tactics are often brutal but effective. Yeah, yeah I, I can. I know. I know. It is kind of stretching that one. I don't think they would really want to do that, but oh, I can see the Sapphire unleashing bio plagues, uh, blue plague. I can see the Sapphire doing that well and truly. Yeah. So maybe they, maybe the South did get wind of it, and that's uh, and and decided to try and try and uh, uh, nab it for themselves. Which so maybe they're they are. waiting, or since they didn't get it, they may be waiting when we come through the next jump to, like I say, just uh, crash the ship. Yeah. Um, so yeah. even if you, if you disable the ship, but you can get somebody back on to release the blue plague. Whoever comes out to rescue us is going to get contaminated. Yeah, possibly, but I mean, again, the 
the the the um, protocols for um, mysterious ship arrivals or whatever. I mean, yeah. Well, it technically, they, isn't mysterious. They know we're coming, but what happened to it would be the question. Well, the, uh, yeah, but I mean, again, you you go into these you go into those ships arm you know back suited and armed, and you don't crack it unless. You know, you, until you don't crack your your Viviro suits until you until you've got something worked out um, in terms of whatever else. You know, is there um, much so of a UPF presence at Dixon Star? Oh, enough, uh, enough of one. Yeah, why? Well, so we ha we have the option, guys. Uh, we can either destroy the sample, or we can contain it and turn it over to the UPF. That's what I'm thinking. If that's uh, Yeah, the only problem sorry, go on. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. It's like, you know, we we contact the authorities, we inform them that we've got uh, you know, what's going on, that we've got something contained. Um, it's obviously worth a lot of money, uh, but the C D C version or branch of, of UPF probably should be the ones to receive this because you know, it, it might actually help them with well, what I would do, instead of telling anybody about the Blue Plague, what I would do is when we, either here at Dixon Star or when we jump into Pringler, radio the UPF that we were boarded by Sathar and we have a live Sathar aboard the ship and we need to go to a UPF facility to turn it over. We will then get boarded and at that point we can come clean and say look we did have Sathar they're all dead but we got something worse but we didn't want to communicate this outside of we didn't oh, want to on. transmit that yeah that, that that's probably understandable so if we want all to right. turn over the blue plague that's how I would get it to the UPF um, finally the other issue is We've got Andy to deal with. Something's not right with Andy. Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to remember that. Okay, a couple of things. Um, as part of the... Now that you know what you're dealing with, as part of doing your research, and I'm assuming Kat's going to do, do, be doing um, hunting for more files. Is that right, Kat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me a, can you give me a couple of info... Gather info roles? Uh, yeah. Display info roles? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not good, mate. Yeah, not good at all. Ah, oh, man, all the good rolls are gone. Yeah, you've taken them all. Um, a couple of things. Uh, b b again, researching what you can through the Galnet and things like that. Um, the bad news is um, the statutes regarding Blue Plague and the carrying thereof are very strict and leave virtually no room for extenuating circumstances. Um, that's that's the first bit of bad news in that regard. Um, Cat does manage to dig up a couple of more in, uh, pieces of inf information. information um, there is basically uh, documentary um, evidence, in inverted commas, um, of you guys, you guys, uh, discovering um, a source of um, blue plague on Volturnus and deciding to um, bring a sample back to the uh, Prengler underworld uh, for massive amounts of money. Um, so there's the motive for doing what you're doing, apparently. Cash. Um, and that sort of ties back into the we're going to be so rich comment right. that uh, Babu mentioned. Um, the other thing is there is nothing to tie... There's no proof at all to tie anything back to Streel. 
at best it's speculation but when weighed against the actual documents and video footage of you guys doing what you're doing and couple that with the no um, the no um, no trafficking uh, no exceptions policy around blue plague yeah the term vice hard place you know rock come to mind <laughs> come to mind so that documentary evidence was just on the new dawn computer or was that on the galnet well it's on the new dawn computer primarily um but again it was buried pretty deep um, it would have taken someone if someone didn't know it was there or someone wasn't suspicious that it was there um like you guys are um it would take someone a bit of luck to find it but once they start looking once someone like yourselves was aware or, or whatever turning up becomes a lot easier became a lot easier because you knew what to look for um so look taking okay. an objective so the assumption is we don't find this on the computer they're going to send their experts and they find that we quote unquote erased it but have done this since we haven't done it then it's got to be technically photoshopped somehow any way we can search that out and prove it well Kat's been trying to do that and she hasn't been successful um, I think that means we have to destroy the sample well, okay, that's certainly the safest thing to do, don't you think? I mean, safest not just really for you guys, but safest for the for the Federation, for the frontier. Well, I'm sure there are doctors and scientists at the CDC that would argue that having a uh, sample is safer than not having a sample. But true. for yeah. us, it's, it's definitely a synthetic safe. flu plague. Then if we have to it, come up with a antidote for that yeah we I mean, need something to work here with exists on this ship then it's very well possible that a sample exists elsewhere as well right, yeah we don't yeah. want this sample tied to us okay the good news is or if you want to call it that it looks like this may be the only thing the only sample they've got and again doing more research on it um, it's you, you, Jazz is starting to think and Cat is starting to think more and more it's natural but and not synthetic you won't guarantee it but that's the way it's leaning so if it's the only, if it's a if it's a rogue a rogue sample somehow that's somehow being attained it might be the only one maybe okay that's that's better <laughs> that's better, she says. Um, well, bottom line is, you got you, you guys are screwed because if the if the the, the it's starting to look more and more like this. Um, they're going to try, you know, they're going to try and get it through customs. If they get it through customs successfully, great. No one, no one needs to know. Nothing gets, ha no one, ha nothing gets happened. Nothing happens. If customs find it for whatever reason. Um, Oh, by the way, I'll tell you something about Ian. Um, instead of being tied to Streel, it's going to be tied to you guys. All right. So, if it is Streel, then Streel wins because it gets rid of you guys, which are a, th a thorn in your side. Um, that seems to be the motive, or that seems to be the the modus operandi. Um, also, Cat, one other thing you do spot: there seems to be a subroutine. Um, to turn off that warning light um, when it's triggered by a, co a, a, a command sequence of some sort. Mm. Uh, it's buried deep in, that's buried deep in Andy's, pro well not Andy's, it's buried deep in the computer's programming too. Alright, so I'm, I'm convinced we need to drop this into the sun. Cat, uh, you can check and see if nuclear fire should kill it um 
and then I think we need to go to Star Law probably at UPF unless they have an outpost here at Dixon's but we've also got to worry about Andy so the next thing to to talk about I think well is to de decide or agree on if that's the plan or not where we're going to go to the authorities and then um, what do we do about Andy okay so, question so the signal to everyone's like guys let's talk in the private suite <laughs> yeah I'm assuming that's the case um, what are you going to go to the Star Law for? I mean, what's the motivation for going to Star Law? Well, somebody's got copies of all those videos. Do we not? So they're going to surface yeah, eventually. Are they? They'll be used to try to blackmail us at a future up, time. Ship, there's nothing there. They go, uh, what was going on? I, I don't know. We didn't do it. Yeah, so the, those videos will, could surface in six months after the new dawn, and somebody says, see, look, they took the Blue Plague. They, they trafficked in this. Well, if we turn over the new dawn right now, they can say, look and say, no, look, there's no Blue Plague on it. So we know they did not traffic okay. it. Okay, playing devil's advocate. Oh, I love playing devil's advocate, by the way. Um, my response would be, Okay, you've unloaded the you've unloaded the sample and then turned the, the ship over to the Star Laws to try and give yourself cover, to try and give yourself an excuse. That's the yeah. first thought that crosses my mind. Correct, but at least we have. W at least it's plausible that we did something other than just traffic in Blue Plague and hide evidence of it. Mm. Otherwise. Otherwise it's a risk. I think it's a risk, personally. Yeah, yeah I, I think if we lose the Blue Plague and then the video surface, we look at it and go, we don't know what that is. I mean, even if they somebody comes up and says, well, they're, they're trafficking Blue Plague, is that, what makes you say that's Blue Plague? Oh, it's blue. Okay. More, more, Im more importantly, how would they know? Yeah. Well, somebody's created the videos. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but what excuse do they use for how do they know? They think plant like it on somebody's like the computer. Fish. There's there's no evidence. If we show up this video and say, hey, and then we just say, well, those are fake, those aren't real, and there's no evidence yeah. to prove that we're, we're guilty of okay, anything. Think, think, of, think, of it, think, think like the bad guys in this, in this regard, is that you've got some manufactured, what you believe, you've got some manufactured evidence on somebody Right, that they've done something wrong in secrecy. You take that manufactured evidence to the to the authorities. Right, the first thing the th thing the authorities are going to ask is, where did this evidence come from? Yeah, but they how don't take it to the th authorities. You, they plant it so yeah, somebody in between. They had that. Why didn't you say something at the beginning? But even if they plant it, what you've got to plant it in such a way that it 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 just doesn't show up. I mean, if you just if you dump it into the galnet. Yeah, you know, the investigative reporters and uh, alone are going to go start digging. Yes, your li your lives will be hell, but eventually it's going to come up, come out as you know. What's the motivation behind dumping it into the into the I I into the galnet? If they take full stop, new sentence. If they take it to the authorities, or if they plant it on somebody's uh, somebody else's um, computer for somebody else to take it to the authorities, the question becomes, where did it come from? Why did it suddenly show up? You know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I know all of that. I just think that it's better to come clean sooner rather than deal with it later. Can, because, you know, it's it's a controlled burn as opposed to letting yeah. it go untreated for and, and not know when it will surface. You surface it now, you deal with it now. Yeah. Um, the other thing to consider is, again, if you were to make an accusation like this against BHP. I know what BHP would do to you. Well, we don't make an accusation. We just, we like you said, we have nothing linking this to Streel or anybody else. We just simply say, look, we don't know. Here's all the evidence, and we destroyed the Blue Plague. And do your investigation. Yeah, I, I, I think the problem with that, though, is that there's the no-tolerance policy, 
and they don't really have hard evidence that we actually destroyed the plague. Uh, if we can't prove that we, it's definitely destroyed, we're in trouble either way. Uh, yeah. But I don't think there's any weaseling out of that. Well, the only way to get rid of the planted evidence and then all the evidence of what we're doing now is to destroy the new dawn. Hey, we're good at that. Yeah, unless there's copies of, unless there's in inverted commas copies of the fake evidence elsewhere. Right, the the fake evidence we can never get rid of, but the real evidence of what we do from this point on, the only way to get rid of it is to destroy all record of it, and the only way to be sure of that is to drop the new dawn into a star. Right. Otherwise, someone down the road later on, when this other stuff surfaces is going to go to a backup of Andy's database and pull this information out. Oh, look, they say they didn't know about it or they say it was manufactured, but they didn't bring it to the star law when they knew about it. I mean, I look at it today. I mean, I've got ads running on the TV about this politician who you can't elect because mm -hmm. they knew about this yeah. thing for six months before they took it to the authorities. Yes, I know about the, the... I've been keeping an eye on the American politics. I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, look, I, 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 can't, I can't dispute, and I'm not trying to dispute any of what you've said. I'm just, again, devil's advocate, a, advocating it here and thinking to myself, yeah, again, destroying... I mean, there's no... Even if you destroy the ship, there's no, there's no proof that you've destroyed the blue plate. Oh, I know, but the, what the, what the, destroying the new dawn? The only thing that accomplishes is getting rid of the evidence of what we've done from this point forward. Oh, it's another finger in the other eye. Yeah, you dralocytes yeah. in your three eyes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you might be. Yeah, look again. It, it's it's a plan. Um, you'll be you'll be making yourselves. Um, in effect, the outlaws, though. Uh, if we blow up the new dawn, absolutely. That's not my recommendation. What I'm saying is, if we d if we try to keep this secret, or not reveal it, the only way to guarantee that no more negative evidence supports it is to get rid of all the evidence that we have. We know the manufactured videos, or we can suspect the manufactured videos exist somewhere else. So everything that we've done from this point forward is going to be recorded on the new DAW. The only way to get rid of that is to get rid of the new DAW. That's why I think we need to go to Star Law. Well, the other, okay. He, uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, consider, consider this, though all the there's nothing stopping you from wiping um wiping the information you've you've got now Andy in fact wiping Andy's mind effectively you know um or, or, or covering up that way um which effectively produces the same it produces the same the same effect no, because it leaves yeah. evidence that we wiped Andy's mind. Uh, no, it leaves evidence that Andy's wi it leaves evidence that Andy's mind was wiped. It's not the same thing. True. If you were to hand over the new dawn as as you would expect to be, all right. Like nothing's, you know, get rid of the blue plague if that's what you want to do. Drop it into the sun, or that that's what's going on. Hand over the new dawn as you were supposedly supposedly to do without any blue plague on board customs wouldn't find it because there's nothing for customs to find you guys leave the ship the ship's handed over and then you've then got an excuse that you've then got the counter the counter excuse if somebody comes back at you and goes these guys have done the bad thing with blue plague you guys can go, well, we handed the ship over, so as per the agreement, you've got the blue plague. I mean, it doesn't put you in the clear, but it puts the other side in doubt as well, and it becomes a he said, he said 
situation. And you can then possibly claim innocence and then claim that the, the, the documentation or whatever it is is, um, is being faked up and hey, it's, you know, if, if nothing else, run it through forensics properly and all the rest of it. Um, without, without, without you guys doing anything wrong in terms of having the blue plague on you or destroying the ship, it puts you in a better we position to have make those denials. Too. Yeah, what's that? The Sathar came in with a containment container to transport that. If we put that there to give to them, why did we kill them? You know, I mean, if that was supposed to be, well, according to the video, we're going to be so rich, and these guys are coming with a containment field, which I'm assuming we could almost uh, get uh, technically DNA off of to prove it was theirs, or they had contact with it, and we have dead Sathers on the ship. Yeah, that's another, that's another so avenue of attack. We could almost say that, well, maybe Spreel was trying to sell it to the Sathar and set us up as the Fall Guys. Uh, do we know that container came from the Sathar? I thought it was just in storage. It was, but what Badu is saying is saying fake it, so that the Sathar put Sathar DNA on it, smear Sathar blood on it so that it looks like it's got some, yeah, in other words, muddy the waters is what he's saying. Is that what you're saying, Babu? Well, I thought we found it there as something that was out of place, but... Uh, no, 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 you, that, no, that no, you, you just found you just found it in storage. I mean, what was the Sathar doing? Storage. They weren't trying to take over the ship because they went through all the places they needed to control. So they're looking for something. There's this containment box, which is not part of the standard storage. Oh, I don't know about that. Well... It was in spare parts. Who knows what's part of what's standard from storage? That could, that could be um, true, but uh, yeah. And if it does have their DNA on it, then uh, maybe we should look at it and say, other than uh, Daniel that found it, which I guess goes with the video anyway. Mm. See, so you got a number of you got a, you got a number of attack. You got a number of avenues of of of, of of you got another number of ways you can do this guys so um you're still in in um Larko's star uh, dixon star sorry still in dixon star and um you've still got some time to make some decisions and on along those lines with the political uh knowledge that i have is there somebody i think i might know that could uh you know we could inform of the situation to help us out. Well, you could always go to GTF. You could contact the GTF. Um, the problem is, again, it comes back to the, 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 the whole thing comes back to the problem of there, uh, there's, it's almost a hysteria around Blue Plague. Um, oh, I'm starting it to was get such hysterical. <laughs> 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 it was, yeah, you know, I mean, 17 billion people. Um, yeah, you know, five entire planets permanently quarantined, and the rest of it. I mean, I, you know, I mean, and the fact that the and the fact that the the UPF GMO, um, GMO, GMC, the medical center, don't have any, don't have a sample. I mean, it's pretty. You know, it, it's 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 um. Uh, you're not sure how anyone's going to react to it. Um, I think what I'm trying to ask is, do I know somebody through my studies and through the political acumen that I've been working on that would be kind of like the mentor type person that I could turn to and say, hey, you know, sir, I've got this problem. Uh, you know, is there anything we can do? Because actually they might want a sample of it. Yeah, well, you could give it. I mean, you could get a hold of G. You could get a hold of GTF. Uh, sorry, you could get a hold of um, Pan Galactic Corporation PGC. But I mean, a PGC any better than Streel? Are any of the mega corps better than Streel? If if UPF wanted a sample, they could get a sample. If yeah, exactly. If they wanted a sample, they could get one. They could instead India, of India. immediately destroying on site a ship coming out of the the Greek systems. They could have yeah. just captured one. 
the other the other issue being the other th is, is again the planetary governments I mean there's a couple of planetary governments I know would kill to get their hands on a, on a sample for the same reason that the South are probably want a sample they want to release it on their enemies um, I'm thinking uh, inner and outer Jermaine for example um, they fought wars against each other and that's just one star system um, you know so um, there's plenty of planetary governments that would want to get their hands on it there's plenty of planetary governments that wouldn't want anything to do with it for the, for, for the obvious reasons um, it's the worst weapon of mass destruction you could possibly um, could possibly conceive of um, because it's uncontrolled if it was ever bio, if it was ever ever weaponized and it wouldn't take much to weaponize it is, um. is it, I'm trying to think about this um, subroutine that cat found uh, does anybody here have knowledge about the customs protocols so turning off the light would that actually would that sort of encourage a customs person not to find it or accidentally stumble upon it and actually release it like uh, does anybody have any knowledge that might sort of figure okay, out the intent of that subroutine two things of that one um opening up the cupboard opening up the, the opening up the um the cupboard w did not release will not release the blue plate you've got to open up the jar open up the jar itself. yeah okay um so by having the light turned off they open the cupboard up they get a face full of nothing and mm -hmm. unusual so no it's not a trap in that regard with that in mind it's more likely in an effort to try and hide it because if the, if if the if the light isn't flashing there's no reason to look in the cupboard and they wouldn't and you know what again I mean? it comes back to us we must have set that up so that we they wouldn't see that there was something in it yeah or or that's or you know exactly um but that's it but the, but the whole idea is again is the motivation the motivation doesn't seem to set you doesn't seem to be to set you guys up the motivation seems to get this sample through to where it needs to go to the fact that if it does get discovered you guys take the rap for it is icing on the cake or seems to be icing on the cake to the to this nefarious plan that whoever's put it in in action in, in motion it's a win-win for them so far it's a win-win for them so far but the the aim is to get the stuff through all right and again, the way the video was, the way the video, and the other files were 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 were, were hidden and erased and everything else like that. It's again, it, it, they wouldn't have been found unless someone goes looking for them heavily. Yeah. Or they stumble across it like you did. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So what are we thinking, boys? Are we screwed? Well, if we if we leave it where it is, and it doesn't get through, we're screwed. If we piss them off by uh, destroying the sample, we're probably screwed. <laughs> if we go to the uh, the um, police, and we're probably screwed because they probably just shoot this damn ship out of the sky. Um. Mm. Yes. Well, I think we I have to care. destroy the sample. Like, I don't think we can leave it on our conscience for these guys to use it for whatever they're going to use it for. Yeah. So well, I think we have to destroy the sample. We have we have to prevent. Uh, oh, go ahead. Use, they're going to they're going to show the video of us being happy about making all our money. Yeah, we might even get a bonus for killing the Sathar. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah, think of it. Think of this one too, guys. Whoever set this up, whoever set this up, it may not be Streel. It may be a Streel employee. It may even be a Streel executive, but it may not be Streel 
the corporation itself. So it may be a, an overly ambitious executive or junior executive trying to put this through to, to you know push themselves through. Um, if think of it from a PR point of view, if Streel is even implicated in any way, shape or form with Blue Plague or Blue Plague traffickers, then Streel's PR is going to take a massive hit to the point where they could actually ruin the company completely. That's how bad this could get. So even if they, even if they were to dot, yeah, you know, I mean, I, with that in mind, maybe you will get away with it just by destroying it and keeping your mouth shut. Because if it's a junior executive, he's not going to. He, he might just cut his losses. He or she may just cut their losses. Um, you know, mark it up, mark you down as nasty bastards. We'll get you. We'll get you next time. Um, but just let the whole thing keep sweep the whole thing under the under the carpet so that no one finds out about it. I mean, I don't know about you, but I actually know a couple of executives who think like that for real, and it's scary stuff when you talk to them. Um, I don't deal with them anymore. I refuse. Um, but What's that's the saying? Kind of All CEOs are psychopaths. <laughs> well, so they, so they say. I disagree with that because I'm a CEO. I'm a CEO, and I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> if you say I am, I'm going to come after you with a chainsaw or some blue plate. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I mean, there's that to consider as well. I mean, you, know, you don't know who's setting. You don't know who's trying to set you up. It's someone seen you enough to pull some strings but I mean if Streel wanted to get rid of you I mean the second biggest megacorp in the in the frontier I think they could get rid of us they could blow the ship up with us on it exactly well with a, an AI that fancy they probably only have one of those yeah that would be a, a very expensive but, uh, way to kill somebody they would but they wouldn't have put you on the ship with an, they wouldn't have put you on that ship to blow up the AI yeah. if they wanted to blow yeah. you up, if they wanted to kill you, you know. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I mean, look, it's a risk, and I'm not saying it's not a risk, and it might, it might turn around to, to bite you in the butt, no matter, no User matter what you do. Channel, you timed out. Who was that? Uh, that was Thomas. Wait till he gets back in. Yeah, he's coming back in a sec. User joined your channel. Back again. Um, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a risk either. It, it, no matter what you do, it, it, there's, there's risks involved. Um, you know, um, but I mean, if it were me, in real, mm. if it were me, I'd keep a copy of the records. Um, I get rid of the, I get rid of the sample um, by dropping it into the sun. Yeah, I mean the, the nuclear mm -hmm. fire will get rid of just about everything. I keep a copy of the record. I, I keep a copy of all the all the fake records and that um, to use as as a um, uh, in my defence if they, if ever they came out. Um, and I I. I hope, fingers crossed, that it was a rogue, a rogue, um, a rogue executive, as opposed to the entire company coming after me. Because if the entire company's coming after me, we're we're screwed no matter what we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's game over then. Yeah, it's game over. So we could be yeah, leveling maybe. up the uh, alertness <laughs> and streal to us by doing this, but that's okay. Oh, look, yes, you're, you're, when we you're, you're hit the make... system, do we tell UPF that we got Sathar corpses on board because we were boarded? Uh, I think well, the we... question the question becomes the question becomes Jazz and everybody else um, is why did the Sathar board? No idea. I'm not saying it's impossible. We need an answer to that question. We don't know the answer. All we know is we were attacked and then we repelled them, which we have to report to the authorities now that you know, we were we were hit and run, but we have no idea why. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't well, know if we want no, people investigating. Uh, we think they were after the AI. Maybe they're after, uh, yeah, this new technology. No idea. Well, that's, that's a viable excuse. But I think you're our, fine. It's, it's not our, our role to investigate or figure that out. Unless we're yeah, hired for it. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> but, I mean, we were hired to babysit, and we babysat. And yeah. it turned out that and uh, protected. we got tapped. Yeah, we, we were protected, and this is what we were hired for. I mean, we, we can tell them everything we know about the space right? They moved from room to room. Um, they didn't seem to try to take over the ship, but you know, it seemed like maybe they were search for searching for something. But we don't know. Well, see, that's not that's where you it's that's where you ship. start we getting in. You know, but that's where you start getting into. Well, we need to investigate. We need to investigate. Not you guys. The UPF would need to investigate things, and do you really want them investigating things? Yeah. How obvious is it that there is a firefight in the uh, emergency power plant? <laughs> oh, nothing. You can't clean up. Why don't we clean it up and vent the Sathar with the, uh, with the Blue Plague? <laughs> <laughs> and then figure out what to do with Andy. What do you think, Cerise? What? I don't know. I'm still not con I mean, definitely the uh, Blue Plague into the sun. Um, Cerise is is pretty uh, honest and trusting in authority. So she still thinks uh, we probably should take it all to star law. But, um, yeah. Cat is the opposite of that and doesn't trust any corporation or government. Uh, so she, she's kind of on the opposite. Well, I don't trust that. the corpse. But, yeah. But the... the like Star Law and UPF, I mean, trust them. I mean, I think Jazz probably would. I mean, ja I, for, from Jazz's perspective, yeah, we'll destroy destroy the the, the sample. I think everyone's agreed on that. Um, in terms of reporting to authorities, you know, so the, for, the authorities, okay. Well, then I guess do we cover up the Sathar or not cover up the Sathar? And if we don't cover up the Sathar, then we reveal the Sathar to the authorities. And then the next question is. Do we cover up the destruction of the sample, or do we reveal that we destroyed the sample? I guess this is kind of like the decision tree. I, I think you either come completely clean, or you keep it completely secret. Yeah, it, it's it's it really does seem to come down to that binary choice, doesn't it? Because oh, okay. when you the minute you start the minute you start trying to get a middle ground, you you tend you, you tend you to make things complicated up. to yourselves, you get, and you get tripped up exactly. Yeah. And okay. the, the the wiping is not guaranteed, so obviously there could be multiple copies of this data, and Cat doesn't know where they all are. Uh, the wiping is more wiping what we know. It's not a foolproof way if they go looking. Uh, so yeah, but again, if you if they if they don't go looking, they won't yeah, find it. Yeah, of course, it. yeah. If yeah, so and that's why that's why Cat's more like we should vent the Sathar so that nothing is suspicious. Uh, if they go looking, they might find something, but our aim is to not have them go looking and wipe all that we know about. Don't you just love a moral quandary, gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. I, I'd say Jazz is probably leaning more towards with uh, what Ceres is thinking. It's just come clean with it all. Well, there's the question. The we yeah. burn the blue flag up. We make it to our destination. We're there. We finish our mission, and then we go to the authorities and say, hey, you know, we have this thing here that we were set up, and we destroyed the blue flag, but the Sath over there, could try to, we think they were trying to take it don't know why we don't know how all this was going on and it looked like we were set up to be the patsies they're not going to find any on the ship all it is is us saying hey we were set up with this you know the only evidence the only evidence in existence is the fact that you guys are trying to smuggle blue plague there's no other there's no other evidence evidence 
of anything else going on. All the business with Streel and all that is all speculation. From your point of view, very good speculation because you know you aren't smugglers of anything. You didn't do what the video says you've done. But that's because you know you didn't do it. Whereas anyone right, else... Right, but I'm saying if we come clean with the video and say, look, somebody set us up. We found this was supposed to have been quote-unquote erased, but it wasn't. And we were able to pull it off the computer on the ship. We didn't do this, but you know, we did find the uh, blue leg there. We threw it into Dixon Star, and you know, something's going on because either Strel or somebody in Strel is trying to get Blue Plague I uh, brought into here. Yeah, and again, an accusation like that would be—I mean, I know you—I know you don't—I know you don't mean it to be an accusation, but an accusation like that. Yeah, you know, is really going to put your sling, your, uh, your your backsides in a sling. Not that they're not in the sling already. Yes. Yeah, so no, I see what you're saying. I, 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 hey, I see what you're saying. So let me see if I got this right. Cat wants to go the complete denial route. Mhm. Mm Cerise wants to go the complete tell the, tell them everything route. But also destroy the, the sample. Yeah. Everyone destroys the sample. That's a given. Yeah. Yeah. Babu wants to go the Babu wants to go the 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 telemore set up fence. route. Babu's on the I mean, I'm just saying, what happens if yeah. we do go that way and turn everything over? I mean, yeah, the video says we did it, but here we are giving you the evidence saying we didn't do this. This is what we found. There is no blue plague because we destroyed it. From our knowledge, is is if they search the ship and find no blue plague, would there be really much way of us hiding it somewhere during the flight? Like, if you where go are to those them. accusations going to come? If we if if there's no blue plague, are people just going to say, "Well, you hid it somewhere else"? Um, yeah. Well, let me say, go ahead well, and search everything. Do we really well, have evidence that it was blue in. plague? Well, you know, okay, only what you've only from your own, own investigations. So all we have to say is, look, we found a bio, you know, a biological agent that appeared to be like it. W we we were concerned that it was trying to be smuggled aboard the ship, so we destroyed it. We don't know what it was. Uh, Here's our evidence. You and your experts can decipher what we figured mm. out. Cat still feels like we end up in Guantanamo if we go down that route. Uh, well, you, can, <laughs> you can put us in a you know five star hotel version of Guantanamo like you guys did for us at Truant Star. After we yeah, but you, alternatives. but you, yeah, but you weren't you weren't in trouble when you yeah, came but, back from Volturnus. We're not really in trouble now either, right? I mean, if we, you know, oh. uh, uncover, okay. I mean, if we you know, just come clean. This is this is this is the truth. This is everything that, that we know. There's no evidence mm. otherwise. Call me, okay, call me cynical. Us for a, a week or a month or so, but a year or that's fine. two years or five years <laughs> or uh, just, this is, call me cynical. Will get us. Call me cynical. Call me very cynical, and I am incredibly cynical personally, naturally. Call me cynical, but I don't I don't trust anyone as far as I can throw them. Um, you're right. If if Streel is uh, is behind this, and you turn yourself over, um, they can the Streel lawyers and that will probably end up tying you up in knots. Um, the but Star we're Devil. Streel. We're not accusing Streel. I know, but again, uh, if they're <laughs> if, if it's not they're us, who is it then? Because it's a Streel yeah. ship. Yeah, exactly. And well, it's a tra it's a um, terrain transport ship, but yeah. Um, yeah. Look again. Okay. Again, as a player, and I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm not playing, but as a player, as a player, I would be, I personally would be leaning the way the way Cat's thinking. Um, might be better just to keep to keep it all quiet and and hope for the best. 
it's a risk, and I, and I don't deny that. It's a risk no matter what you do. Um, but with all the hype, with all the hype around Blue Plague or bioterrorism and all the rest of it, uh, and don't forget there was a bioterrorism scare not that long ago uh, before you left for Volturnus. Um, it's in the history, if you can't remember. Um, and with all the all the all the all that and the 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 power of 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 the megacorps and Streel in particular, and the fact that Streel is known to be ruthless bastards, um, it might be better just to keep your head down. Maybe I don't know. But you'll be yeah, in orbit. You'll be in orbit around Dixon Star within 24 hours. By the way. Just thought I'd yeah. throw that out there. Yeah, I, I empathize as a player what you guys are saying, but as a character, there's no way Kat's going to need to get outvoted. There's, she's not changing her mind on that. <laughs> she is very distrusting of anything to do with lawyers or corporations and sees nothing but badness. If there's any whiff of us trying to bring this out into the open. So what's Babu thinking? I I think we really need to just disappear this stuff, probably even the Sathar, and act as if nothing happened with everybody concerned. But uh, almost think this is going to be our new focus as to who is setting us up and trying to. Uh, uh, well, maybe again we maybe. also know who kind of is setting us up but maybe try to m more pinpoint who it is maybe it's a new facet of an old focus yeah I mean it could simply be that the star devil is a streal executive and yeah that is a possibility running rogue operations and he's trying to take us down when he can etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, well, like you say, it's a win-win for him either way. Yep. yep. Unless we destroy it, and then it's like, well, he doesn't necessarily win, but we don't win either. Or neither of us lose, but neither of us really win. Yeah, it becomes a neutral, a neutral across the board. Nobody gets exactly what they want, but nobody loses either. Is that what you're saying, Babu? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I would almost say that's a win for us in the fact that uh, we stop them from getting the Blue Plague to whoever they want to give it to. And we probably won't get arrested right away anyway. They really don't have a reason to release the information because there's nothing found. So Jazz, are you comfortable enough if we destroy the Blue Plague and sweep everything, the, and sweep everything else under the rug? Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, Jazz, I mean, Jazz can, I mean, I'm Jazz, pretty on the fence. I mean, he'll he'll lean more towards you know coming clean, but but he can't be convinced that um, that maybe the the best route to go is just to cover everything up. Yeah. So let's let's go ahead and cover everything up and uh, play ignorant for now. We'll make copies of everything that we can and including video of us destroying the Blue Plague and um, then we, all we have to do is worry about Andy. Oh, yeah, so and well, that jump into Pranglar late. Yeah, well, you, you're going to be late now because you're doing the loop around, uh, around Dixon, so you're going to be late anyway. Okay. Well, not excessively so late, but late enough. So as a part of covering up, we're going to have to like, you know, delete all the recordings of us you know, doing all the research on the sample and all this stuff. And so all that stuff means coming down to, com basically comes down, boils down to how do we handle Andy, right? Well, it comes down to two things. One is how to handle Andy, but two, from a, me from a, from a me meta game point of view, it comes down to Cat making a few good rolls. Okay. No pressure, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty uh, spectacular if... Uh, 
she was so adamant we have to cover everything up and then like critically fails the the cover up role. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 tempt fate, dude. So then would you be able to try to um get the access you need um through those you know that that you need in order to kind of remove all the information before we toss out the Sathar? You know, so in case if you fail and our cover up just fails from that electronics records point of view, then we still have the option to cover up. Well, well, it does make a difference because if you because you're making backup copies of all that stuff on personal, on your personal recorders anyway. Right, but what I mean is if 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 Cat tries to delete the records, right, so that on on the ship on Andy and everything looks squeaky clean. But if she fails, then it's all still going to be... She won't know. Gonna... Well, oh, once she won't know. know. Okay, okay. All right. It's like, it's, it's like a, in D&D terms, it's like a move silently roll. You think you're being silent, you know, gotcha. but... Yeah. But traumatically, all of us as players actually know the result. <laughs> well, this is where well, I... This ma- is where maybe I, uh, this maybe is where... Uh, Matt will make me do a tower roll. Yeah, except the tower's not working at the moment, remember? I told you that. Uh, or, or Matt just rules. No, it's not. Trust me. It's, it's, I, I've been playing around with it last week. It's not working. <laughs> okay? Uh, See? Told you. Hmm? Told you it wasn't working. Did you roll just now? He did, and I got an error message on my console here. Oh, so you don't even see a number. Uh, I did. I didn't do a tower roll. Somebody did. I did. See it? Uh, yeah, I told you it was. Somebody did a tower roll. But <laughs> I got the error message. I had the error message pop up, so I knew it was that somebody did it. I've got to fix. Uh, it, 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 it's a matter of me fixing it. It's, it's, a, it's a relatively quick fix. I just haven't had time to do it. Not with going to go to travel the four and a half hours to Sydney on Thursday, um, and then back again yesterday. So, so yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. So, if I understand the general consensus, and correct me if I'm wrong. You're going to kick the sapphire and the blue plague into the sun, clean up the emergency power plant and the forward airlock and anywhere else you 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 traded shots, and try and wipe out the data in Andy. Once you work out Andy, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So what's going on with Andy? Is he just acting weird or? In what way? Well, that's my question. No, but, but I mean, what do you, I mean, yeah, well, Andy's a uh, highly, um, Andy's AI, and Cat doesn't believe AI exists yet, so. Well, plus, I mean, Andy can't even see the cabinet, so he's his programming has been tampered with, so that he can't even see the cabinet. Um. His programming was tampered with because he did not uh, uh, identify the Safar boarding. Or I don't even think he activated security robots, did he? No, he didn't. Yeah, so he's not doing well, his job. Security, ro- security robots weren't activated, put it that way. All right, so uh, the next question um, is how are you going to get the sample from the lab to the airlock? Or more accurately, more accurately, who's going to move the sample from the air, from the lab to the airlock? And which airlock are we going to? The one in the middle? Yep. Well, it's only one of the out, it's only one to the outside. Yeah, okay. Unless you well, want to take it up. Containment box. Yeah, unless you want to take it up two decks and throw it out the top airlock. <laughs> no. no. With um, Kat's knowledge of uh, sort of engineering, uh, would she have any idea how if if that container is going to fail, is it going to be in a catastrophic way or just a minor leakage? 
uh, who knows? Let's face it. If you're talking about if you're talking a bio a level six biohazard, even a minor leakage is a catastrophic is a catastrophic fail, isn't it? So I think wow. it'll probably have to be jazz to transport it. Um, so I mean, we would keep everything sealed down on that level. You know, all the all the doors locked tight. Um, maybe you know some of the some of the doors there along that path to the to the hatch, which are not airlocked. Um, maybe we want to temporarily try and reinforce the seals on those doors. Um, no, that's a big job. I mean, I don't know, duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> In the same way the yeah. ziplock thing doesn't work. No, um, we'll have to we'll have to isolate this level, and I mean, we we can get by without this level. We do well, have to do suits. Well, 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 you don't have, have to do the entire level. You've just got to do you've just got to do those rooms between those airlocks. Yeah. Right. So just that path. Right. And for that matter, the um, you might be able to rig up um, some UV in the corridors if you keep the for example if you keep all the doors shut except for the med lab door and the airlock door you might be able to rig up some uv in the in the um some uv lamps some high intensity uv lamps in, in the, the corridors in the hallways so that once you've got once you've done the done the ejection of the blue plague and that you just bathe the entire area in in UV like the medical lab is bathed in UV yep and do you want to try do, do we have like uh, a plan? I mean are, are our scanners can it detect the presence of blue, blue plague in the in the air well the toxi red gauge in the atmospheric scanner can detect um, lethal substances. Okay. So um, radiation, poison, and lock, lock, lack of oxygen, things like that. Toxic substances. Um, so the toxic red gauge probably wouldn't help too much against the bio stuff, but the atmospheric scanner should be able to. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking that it's probably Jazz and Cat uh, doing this, and maybe Cat's holding the door open and scanning. Or she's the one carrying it so that there can be an alarm if if the scanner does pick something up. I think um, Jazz has a smaller chance of dropping it than Cat. <laughs> what's <laughs> what's, we, what's the deck? Order. What's Jazz's dex? Uh, Jazz's uh, dex is 70. Yeah, so is Cat's. <laughs> oh. why, don't, why, don't, why don't you, why don't you, you fight over it, gentlemen? <laughs> Gun battle. You, 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 no, no, no. I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, give it here. No, give it here. Wrestle with it back and forth. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. <laughs> do you want to rig up the, the level six biohazard? No, I want it. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to rig up the um rig up the UV in the hall? Yeah. All right. Well, there is there is plenty of spare parts in storage, bulbs and mm -hmm. that. You can do that. Um. The technicians will probably have to do this. Uh, technicians and engineers. Yep. Um, we'll I do. Civil mean it would be a repair civil. role. Uh, it's a civil engineering for the engineering role. Um, for the, let me pull up your sheets, sorry. Um, several roles, please. Um, and oh, yeah. yeah, repair, repair, probably the best one for you, for the for the technician. Um, if you guys want to do that, give me three rolls each of those, please, gentlemen. Wow. One more series. There we go. All of them. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you, 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 it's jury rigged, obviously, but you think you've got it. You, you think you've got it something rigged up properly. Um, I take it you're gathering all the bodies into the airlock. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, good news and bad news. Um, 
the bad news first if you like so you're going to have to not just put this canister in the airlock and then blast it out into space you're probably going to have to aim and actually hurl it into uh, hurl it at least towards the general direction of the sun okay well what if we just go into a into a low low uh tra low energy trajectory and then use the ship's engines to burn out something without propulsion will decay and, and fall yeah eventually possibly but you're better off throwing you, you are better off throwing it the good news is it shouldn't be too hard to miss <laughs> in that regard um yeah but who wants to make that roll huh well, it's going to have to be Cat or or Jazz. They're the ones carrying the thing, unless they're fighting over it still. Hmm. I throw at the sun and miss. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's, it's more it, more right? it's more whoa, 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 it's more along the lines of throw it at the sun, throw it at the sun, and don't forget you've got uh, below the, the you're at the, you're in the bottom of the ship. And the bottom of the ship doesn't mean the end of the ship because you've got the engines below you, all right? The actual engines below you, okay? Um, and so just letting it go, you've got a chance of this thing hitting one of the engine struts. Um, and that could contaminate the outside of the ship, which doesn't sound too bad, but Blue Plague is pretty, um, pretty nasty stuff. It's been known to su survive... Um, in some pretty inhospita inhospitable areas. Uh, does that include hard. vacuum? Yeah, maybe, maybe not, but yeah. Um, so it's a matter of, it's not a matter of throwing, hitting the sun, it's a matter of throwing and not hitting the rest of the ship. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So, so, so who wants to do this? And I'm assuming we've got all the bodies loaded in already. They, yeah, can hit the um, ship. Uh, they can hit the ship quite nicely. <laughs> <laughs> the so throwing it out what is that like a strength thing then? It's no, well, no, it's not a strength thing. It's it's a it is actually it's a re, it's a it's a combat throw, uh, effectively. Um, I'm more interested in um, how do you guys make sure you don't actually because you're still at one G. Don't forget, uh, you don't actually fall through the floor. Yeah, you got to clip in, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> These, hey. These wait, wait. Uh, hazmat suits that we have, will they actually survive yeah. a vacuum? No. Oh. That was, that was the next question. I was waiting to see if anyone was going to ask it. Is there a space suit on this? Yes, there is a space suit. There's two space suits, actually. Hmm. All right then. Oh, if you want to go buy my grenade tossers, I shouldn't be throwing this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a, if if it's a throw, it's obviously not cat either. But yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll be jazz. I'm assuming. All right. So you're getting you're getting into a spacesuit, are you, Jazz? Yeah. Sounds like that's uh, the way to go. We don't want to die from exposure okay. to vacuum. Now, would I make you do that? <laughs> All right. So, if I insisted. If you insisted, oh, yeah. If you insisted. Okay. Where's I is everybody else clearing the deck? Clearing off the deck? Yeah, I'm in the lounge drinking. Sabu and Daniel are. Yeah, I think I'll be <laughs> drinking heavily, actually. Drinking heavily. Where are you, Cat? Uh, she. Uh, she kind of wants to do two things. Make sure two things are happening. Uh, that the door is already open when Jazz gets there. Yeah. Uh, and she also wants to be aggressively scanning for any signs that this uh, container has failed. All right. Uh, you she can't do both of those. No, she can't do both of those. You, and your best bet's probably to hold the door open. Yeah, yeah. So she will she will hold the door open and be scanning just in case. Okay. Are you in a spacesuit or a biohazard suit? I think it's better to be in a spacesuit just in case. 
Okay. Uh, is there are the spacesuits? Do I have reduced maneuverability in those, or are they? Yes. Kind of. Okay. We're not yes. able to rig some kind of like um, mechanical catapult type device, right? We load it in no. and it just slings it out. No. No. Okay. No, unfortunately, no. All right. So, uh, I need a uh, a dexterity check off you, please, Jazz. A couple, actually, but we'll do one at a time. Okay. Right, um, you actually managed to drop the uh, plague container into the biohazard box okay. from about four or f from about four or five inches up. Jazz looks up at Cat and goes, uh, "Oops." <laughs> Um, can you both give me a spot check, please? Sorry, coming up, trying to find it That's on right. the sheet. Search, spot, whatever, same thing. I've been playing too much D&D. &D. <laughs> Cat, mm. there seems to be a small, um, a small fragment of something floating in the blue liquid now. A small fragment. Yes. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Possibly can't really see what that is now that she's not seen it. Well, not not very easily. Um, it's possibly a piece of container. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I would probably advise Jazz to close that as soon as possible. Uh, maybe having a little look at it, just... Because we're still in the med lab, so we can decontaminate. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, not, if the whole th not if the whole thing goes, you won't. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, it, it, look, it, it, it seems to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a container that may have chipped off from the inside, and if it's chipped off from yep. the inside, it means the container can technically start and go. Yeah, I would close that and be as <laughs> careful as you possibly can. And that's what Jazz will do. All right. So I take it you're moving ahead to the door, are you? Yeah, I'm. All right. So that Jazz doesn't right. have to worry about that or slow down. He can just walk very slowly at a calm pace, not worrying about the doors. <laughs> All right. Jazz, can you give me a, another rea another dexterity check, please, mate? You know, this really makes me miss Deadlands, being able to spend chips on very important <laughs> roles. <laughs> yeah, funny, that. Okay, you've made it out the door and down the corridor to the junction. Cat has got the door open. Can you give me another roll, please? Okay. I need to do an integrity check for the bio box. Oh, dear. Right. Um, you may shoot, make it down the corridor to the door to the doorway. Move through the doorway. Cat, are you joining her? Joining them in the in the airlock, or are you join or, or not? Don't forget, there are nine sapphire bodies in there already. <laughs> uh, she probably doesn't need to be in there. Uh, as long as what is did her Atmos Kaz detect anything? Is it going crazy? No, it's not going crazy. Okay. Okay, so you see all the airlock door closes, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you tr do you do you trigger the um uh the um UV in the corridors and that? I 
So we haven't heard anything. Uh, do we have limited use of that UV? Oh, it's jury rigged. It I might work say, once. It may work a hundred times. I'd say maybe wait till we. Th th does a UV also um, cover the the hatch, the room with the, the airlock? The airlock. Air yes, it does. It does. Okay, so maybe wait till after Jazz tosses it out, and then yeah, we'll try and UV flush everything. All right. All right. From so our knowledge right? of the plague, we know it does. It, it doesn't multiply when it's airborne. It needs to be on a person or host to multiply. Yes, it needs to be. It needs to be on a host. It's airborne, yeah, okay. but yeah. it, it 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 needs to be on a host. Yeah. But again, it's not going to make it any worse by delaying. Yeah. No. Cool. No. 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 Uh, not unless you can be, get contaminated. Yeah. Um, so you open up the outer hatch. Um, kick the kick the sapphire out, and they go floating off behind you, and then start to get drawn in towards the uh, towards the the uh, Dixon Star in a slow death spiral. Eventually. So yes, uh, there are a few engines out there. Um, could you uh, get ready to? Um, uh, you, do you want to throw this thing, or what's the story? Yeah, that's the plan. All right. Well, the <laughs> uh, Sorry, what was that? Yeah, uh, give me a roll, please. Um, dexterity. Uh, yeah, combat roll. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oops. Oops. What do you mean, oops? <laughs> well, Did you see what he rolled? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, you don't even manage to throw it out the airlock. You have uh, managed to uh, completely stuff up your throw. Um, and it has clanged off the inner wall of the hatch so that um, the box uh, breaks open and the um, uh, the uh, um, inner container contain the liquid is actually cracked. What do you want to do, Jazz? So, what else? What else do we have still left in here? Um, we have the the box. Uh, the Sathar are all tossed out already, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, so the box is still here. The container within the box is still here. Everything's cracked. Liquid is leaking. No, I didn't say that. I just said it's cracked. Okay. Um, well. Let's just get rid of it. Try again. Get rid of it as, as quick as possible, and then see what we need to do in terms of clean up. Okay. So uh, give me a dex, give me a dex roll to actually gather it all up. Okay. Okay. Now give me a throw or a dex roll either way to get to uh, try and re re throw it again. That's better. <laughs> help, 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 get it out. Okay, um, all you've heard, cat, is oops. Let me try <laughs> that again. Let, let me try that again. What do you mean, let me try that again? <laughs> um, and yeah, okay. Uh, and the uh, hatch starts to cycle. The one you're standing in front of at the moment. Um... Jazz will tell tell Cat. Uh, I really hope that those those UV lights are working or will work. Uh, yeah. Cat kind of suggests that if we potentially messed up that badly, maybe we decontaminate in the medical lab in now non jury rigged one uh, first. 
Well, you basically the medical lab and the jury ones on the same circuit, effectively. Yeah, it's like the the entire hatch area and possibly the hallway, uh, the corridor is contaminated, right? So, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna have to flick the switch and yeah, we're screwed either way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> flick the switch <laughs> and then uh, and hopefully uh, if, if it works, scan the area and see if you know the area remains contaminated or not. Is that what you're doing? Flicking the switch? Uh, once once the outer hatch is shut, uh, the hatch between Cat and Jazz is opened up, and then we'll try and flood the entire corridor and the medical lab with, uh, with UV and keep an eye on our, our scanner. Actually, okay. I'd like, like to see what, what Cat's scanner says once the hatch uh, or the door that, uh, between Jazz and Cat opens up, if, if it's going to just go wild. Now, it doesn't go wild, but it does register something. Okay. Uh, let, let's uh, let's try the UV. Okay. Okay. The UV burns for about two minutes. Uh, just under two minutes when it suddenly fritzes out. Fritzes out. Two minutes is a good. good oh. Better than less than two minutes. <laughs> better than zero minutes. Uh, <laughs> what is the difference? on the my CAS now that I ask it again seems to be clear and how long is the typical standard like uh, time that you spend UV to get a full uh, decontamination two and a half mm, okay mm. well we think it's good guys Like the 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 CAS shows all clear. No, I didn't say that. No. Yeah. It. Yeah. I said the CAS wasn't showing anything. It's not the same thing. Are we so soon to be paranoid, gentlemen? <laughs> so it's not detecting anything. It's not detecting anything. No. So could we, um, have, could we have left the? I mean, this is kind of in retrospect. So if if, if the answer is no, then that's that's cool. But. Could we have left the bio suits outside of our little um, area so that, you know... Well, I'm assuming the bio... Other... No, I'm assuming the bio suits were in the medical lab. Sorry. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um... I mean... Cat can't... Uh, it pities her ears isn't around, but Cat with her engineering skills probably doesn't have enough... She could figure out what broke, but probably not how to fix it, right? That's right, yeah. It's yeah. And the bulbs are gone. And the oh, bulb, okay, bulbs. so it's so completely toast. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. completely toast. Now, okay. the question is, was it activating? Was it activated long enough to do a complete de decontamination or not? Mm. We can ask Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy wouldn't know. There's, he, Andy wouldn't have any... any, any um, bio uh, detectors in the hall. Mm. Not at that level. <laughs> yeah, but we could we could go in the medical lab and see if the medical lab environmental sensors detects anything, right? It'll be more accurate. Wouldn't the light on the uh, drawer there be uh, on if they detected something? What was that, Babu? Sorry. The. Uh, cabinet that had the uh, biohazard light that we saw, wouldn't that be registering if it detected something? Mm, if, it, if that's how it works, yeah, I suppose, but I mean the biohazard, the biohazard light, I mean if, you, if you're going back to the, are you going back to the medical lab, gentlemen? Yeah, let's go back to the medical lab. Right, well there's no light on the bio, there's no light on the cabinet, if that's what you're asking. So the cabinet's the biohazard and exposed to the, to the entire room, but the light's yes. not showing. Okay. The, but the, yes, the light's not showing. And the lab itself, does it have sensors within the lab to tell us if, you know, the, the lab mm, itself is contaminated? No, no. Don't forget, I mean, this is, this is slightly, it, 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 again, the lab is slightly better than a standard civilian lab. It's nowhere near, it's not like you would find on a battleship, right? Um, it's like you'd find on a small frigate. Um, if 
you're going to deal with biohazard, bioweapon stuff, you, that's the type of thing you'd find on a battleship or on a base. Um, so this lab, this lab would, does not have those type of sensors on board. Okay, and the not the for UV. the entire lab anyway. And the UV in the lab is that already burnt out as well, or is it that one still operational? It, it's not. Well, it's not. It's not on at the moment. Oh. Okay. Do you I want to turn it same, on? I thought it was on the same. It circuit. wasn't. It wasn't the same circuit, but it usually only lasts about two and a half minutes, and it's been more than two and a half minutes since you first triggered it. So, if it's still working, it would have been. Turn, it would have turned itself off by now. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in the medical lab. Okay, so here, here's an idea, Cat. So we can go in the medical mm -hmm. lab, close the door, flip the switch, have it run. Um, we change out of our spacesuits into the biohazard suits. And so we know that we're clean and we're in a biohazard suit. Well, I guess once we open the hatch, it's just not gonna, it's just gonna expose the rest of the ship. Yeah, never mind. Let's just, let's just do it for the sake of doing it within the medical lab. So you're going in the medical lab and you're triggering the biohazard UV in the medical lab, is that right? Yeah. Okay. The biohazard in the medical lab triggers for the standard two and a half minutes. At the end of that time, what do you do? Well, I don't think there's anything else. Is, is there any other actions that we can take, anyone? Take your suits off? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, stick, stick your head out the door? <laughs> yeah, I'd be thinking just to m completely make sure we'd be walking back to the uh, to upstairs in our suits. Because they've just been decontaminated, so we don't have to really worry about that. Um, yeah, but moving around in them is not easy. Not under one G. Yeah. No, these are space suits. Don't forget, they're you know they're they're quite bulky in that. They're not. Yeah, I mean we could change to the biohazard yeah, suits. Okay. Well, yeah. But why? What's to what purpose? Uh, yeah, we're just getting out of here. So the the question is whether or not um, um, Daniel Cerise and Babu will let us to the other parts of the ship. <laughs> they're going to try and isolate us in, in this deck. <laughs> <sighs> Daniel, Cerise, and Babu, what's your answer to that one? To what are we doing? No. Cat, sorry, Cat and Jazz are going to are asking whether you're going to let them onto the rest of the ship or not. Did they go through biocontainment from the medical lab or decon? De yes, they did. Yeah, yes, that's they fine. did. Cat suggests that we should go through the emergency power plant rather than through the other corridor. But that's just precaution. Yeah, sure. So, are you going out in the corridor or not? So From the medical lab, you can go straight to that air, the forward airlock. Oh, that's true. From the medical lab, we just go... Oh, uh, yeah, we can. Yeah. We'll just go that way and exit out. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Good that would work, except that if there's any trace of blue plague on here, then we're completely hosed. Yeah. We won't know until um, we arrive at our destination. We get off the ship. We collect our pay. We kind of disappear and later we see something on the news saying blue plague has broken out uh yeah uh, uh, one other small thing you've got a bunch of jury rigged um uv lamps in the corridor oh right um oh. so before we leave <laughs> forgot about that didn't you guys <laughs> no we'll clean well, them up we've got time to put that down because then we can access the medical lab change into the bio suits and then as precaution and then um yeah, okay. Lamps and then uh, UV ourselves in the medical lab again. And D did did we already right. do the cleanup in the emergency power plant, or do we still have to do that as well? You still got to do that as well. Yeah, yeah so we should probably do all of that. Doing that in the doing that okay. in the biohazard suits is going to be incredibly difficult. Doing that in the spacesuits is going to be incredibly difficult. Well, that's 
that mm. point, you can access through the that airlock on the uh, down the bottom of the map. So. Yeah, but that door between the emergency power plant and the medical lab and the corridor, that door there isn't isn't hermetically sealed. Yeah, true. It was closed, but it just wasn't. But it wasn't hermetically sealed. We got days till we get to Pringle Air to clean up, guys. You uh, either you either you did it, or we're all gonna die anyway. So don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. So we're we're done with that, and then you know we kind of. So, okay. So question. All right. So, are you going out in that corridor? At some stage. At some stage, we will have to because we have to take down all the UV lights and stuff. Right. Can I get each of you boys to give me a stamina check, please? Delicious. And I'll get one off Daniel and Cerise and Babu as well, please. What are we looking for, search? Or? Just a stamina check, please. Stamina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was Babu. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll note that down. And that, gentlemen, is actually a good place to leave it for this week. We've been going for a little over four hours. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch. And, of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz. On behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>